Yo. What's up, Serbo? What up, what up? Just making sure all of my streams are running here. Let's get it going. gonna warm up a little bit and we're good to go let's do this oh too much right away Be reverse. Alright, I gotta chill. I gotta chill. It's a very easy matchup to get tilted. Not even a combo. <laughs> That's why I was confused. They did it. Bomb will not save you. Right, oh, it's not now it's doing the join limit? Let me fix that. Let me fix that. I'm sorry, guys. The limit wasn't working yesterday. Three, two, one, 
Yo, chasing times. Thank you for the two gifted. Brought us just a little tiny bit closer to the goal. Appreciate that. Welcome, Gary and Kizamoon. Time to slow it down. now because I fucking hate fighting this character, I'm going to be honest. It's so annoying. getting close to him. Alright, we clutched that one. Sorry, the dog's being really loud in the background, so I had to mute. Unfortunately, for the next two to three hours, I wanted to try to stream earlier hours for you guys, but along with that comes the territory of the dog popping off for the next three to four hours. So, I might have to mute from time to time. It's probably not going to be that loud for you guys, but it's deafening for me, so I'm just like sub uh, like self-conscious of it. I guess that means the filters that I set on, on OBS are working properly. <sighs> it, it's my brother's dog. I, he, he's not a nice dog. I tend to... Again, it's, it's hard to avoid the fact that he is so ever-present in the background, but I, I'd rather not bring attention to him. <laughs> do I have merch? Yes, I do. Uh, I thought I had a... I guess I'll just have to type it out. Yeah. I do have merch. Check it out. Also, I, I do custom designs. I can upload custom designs to my store. There's like a bunch of them listed already, but if you want one of them in like a certain color or with nothing on the back or with your tag on the back, like I can, I can do that, but you just have to message me in discord first so I can customize it for you or Twitter, whatever. Um, we're doing sub battles tonight, so you guys can go ahead and if you're subscribed on my Twitch chat, you can hop in the list. I'm just kind of warming up for now.
That was a little greedy. Tipper for you. I'm not there. Nice, finally got his tipper. Not really playing the matchup. happens when I, when I reach my goal, we set a new one. So like the actual goal that I'm reaching for is a hundred normal subs, like standard tier one subs, because there's this thing on Twitch where if you have that amount of subs for three months straight, you get monetized at a higher rate. Like right now I'm 50-50 on subs. I hit a 60-40 split once I have a hundred standard tier one subs. Like what that means is like not prime or gifted. So just, I'm encouraging, and I'm encouraging people to do the standard sub, because you get to snipe the list if you do, if it's your first time uh, subscribing. So it gives you something a little extra. Surprised I got no punish there. They're playing pretty patient, so it's a little harder, but I'm supposed to play patient too. charge. Almost. It was a good song. Damn. He must have been at a maximum. Yeah, fuck. I didn't realize. It's kind of a small window on Marth. Again? <laughs> Am I still going? No, no, I stopped. 
I'm just streaming earlier tonight because I feel like I needed to hit a, an earlier window here. See what happens when I start talking? That was nasty. I had to clutch that one after getting tippered at like 50 and dying to it. Once, uh, once the sub list on Twitch is stacked enough, uh, we'll get started with the sub battles. I'm kind of just biding my time and hoping that the dog quiets down a little bit, because it's very distracting. Um, don't worry about it. I I'll... Once there's, like, probably several more on there, I'll be good to go. Also, I kind of just want to warm up a little bit, too. I feel like I'm playing not the cleanest yet. Oh, how many do we need? Uh, wait, actually, I'm actually not sure what you're asking. Um, I need four more points to hit my goal, but, um, again, that hundred subs, it's, it's weird. Like, I wish, I wish Twitch had a better way of recording it. That hundred doesn't mean a hundred standard tier one subs. It is a goal of mine, but it's not, it's not the goal. The actual go goal is a hundred standard tier one subs, and I don't know how many of those I have, and it's kind of hard to, like, gauge but i do have a lot of prime and gifted subs which again i'm not complaining subs are subs they're all helpful but after we hit the goal i'm gonna set another goal and after this stream i'm gonna have to research and figure out how to actually get the goal that i really need set up on my stream we're fighting a lot of stories like this This is kind of cool. I'm on like a the the battlefield version of FD. This actually looks sick. Ooh, unfortunate. I don't think they meant to do that. Yo, what's up, John? Hey, Ben, dude. to just go for it. You can't really react to trips because of input delay. Grab the ledge, that was so weird. Miss input. Alright, I 
I think I'll finish out this set and then um, we can maybe get started on the, the Twitch sub battles, but uh, maybe I'll wait a little bit. Because once I start on the Twitch sub battles, I want to like keep going solid for a while. So there's three people on the list right now. I will get to you guys very, very soon. Can you boot you? Can I? Can you boot yourself? Just uh, exclamation point drop spot with no spaces, and you can boot yourself. Execution is not on point right now, unfortunately. I'm not sure why. The Brawl special versus Marth and Lucina. <laughs> Knowing that they have to go low and doing deep nair to back air, it works great on them. Okay. That happened. This way we get a little bit of a, a mix up in there. We get some quick play, I get to warm up a little bit. You guys get to see me just play some matches real quick. But again, we are doing sub battles for anyone that's interested. Hop in to my Twitch chat and join up. I'm gonna start uploading shorts again with that one. I mean, there was, there was two clips in one in that match. You're not wrong about that. That will definitely be a YouTube short, 100%. Okay, this matchup, we're supposed to be aggressive. No, that's not true. We have to play like a bitch, because they have deep breathing. After that, then we play aggressive. Oh, this works. Let's go! I just barely had enough damage. <laughs> Surprised they're not using deep breathing at all. They're making this a little easier on me. Like they're just not using it. What? 68, damn. I don't know the percents. I don't fight this character that often. All my inputs just dropped. I was gonna try to down air them. Alright, try to hold this. 68. I think it changes with deep breathing, it's like 70 now. when they're off stage only. Alright, I'll take that. 
I'm gonna actually leave while on that one though. Instead of sticking around next time when my buttons are getting eaten, I'm gonna leave. The music slapping. <laughs> yeah, it's that DK64, bro. GG's. I, uh, again, it. Usually I don't talk about connection stuff, but if I do, I'm just gonna catch myself getting salty and just leave from now on. So I'm sure it was just a stutter, but it's for my it's for my own mental health. <laughs> Ever since I I dropped inputs against Ganondorf and died at zero twice in two separate occasions, I'm just I'm not gonna let that happen again. Right. I'm not, I'm not thinking today. If I'm above 50%, I can't allow them to do that. Harder for that suicide attempt. <sighs> I'm gonna drop this literally. Insane. we clutched it but man i gotta they almost made that byleth i i actually think secretly is a very cheesy character but i definitely almost threw that game i don't think i've ever tried a sticky walk on byleth before so it kind of makes sense that it didn't work because she can grab he or she can grab the ledge from like really far so that i can't really chase Violets can't resist going for the dare, which is good for me. I'm gonna need some tea already, some more tea, and I just finished one cup. I'm just getting a little triggered today, I don't know why. Let's just do this. Yep, doesn't work, sorry. Not anymore, Byleth. I actually should die for going for that. I have to stop. And just like, respect that recovery more. Tilt covers me. Maybe? Okay, 
no sweet spot, that's good for me. <laughs> I don't know how they kept dodging my punch like I'm like all right they're pressing a button they're gonna land into this punch and they kept like landing and rolling before the punch connected it didn't make sense that was either gonna be a shield break or a parry if they were lucky or death they I guess they kind of just needed to get out of there What's one thing as a fellow DK main that you're probably doing wrong without even seeing your gameplay? Ooh, that's a good question actually, because there's a lot of things I see DK players do. Uh, number one thing is you're probably always going for up B, grab ledge, ledge drop, double jump, down air. and. And it's probably working on your opponents. However, it's like a, it has like a chance of working and you have to like, you have to figure out when that chance is worth taking and when it's not. Cause there are times when you get consistent damage and also a stage spike or like, you can just make them get knocked away if you hold down on that up B and it's better. And it sets up a guaranteed edge guard situation. That's, that's actually a lot better for you position wise and can cheese stocks better in some scenarios. It really depends on like, are you trying to just cheese their stock with a down air because like you're at like really high rage and they're at zero and you know they have a habit of doing jump or directional air dodge up, then then you go for the down air. On some, on some characters, you can't even do that because they have an option that just beats your down air. But you, you have to know what characters those are. It's usually the characters that have like a billion jumps that they can just wait for you to miss and then do like a crazy like up air or up B. Like it doesn't work on Byleth because Byleth can just do up air. Like you have to just know the characters you're not allowed to do that against. And against those characters instead you hold down on the up B. My, my point is you don't want to snap ledge almost, almost ever with up B. You should almost always hold down on it because you get more damage. So even if you, you know, Otherwise, you might just get a little drag to the ledge with up B, and then you go for the down air and it misses, then you only got like 2 damage, or like 6 damage or something, right? What I'm saying is you can get like 20 if you hold down on the up B. I'll show you. I do it constantly. And then you can get a good situation even then off of it, on top of that. Alright, I can't talk versus Cloud because they're all sweaty.
is why DK does pretty well against Cloud. Should have just waited on which. Every cloud that has battlefield set as their default stage is sweaty, because like it's it's a really good juggling stage for cloud, <laughs> and he gets to like limit camp and stuff. All right, looks like we have a decent amount of people on the list, on the list, on the list. Uh, Chunky, I'm doing sub battles today, so technically we could play. Sub, because we have a little bit of a list going. Okay. Alright, this is gonna be. What are the percents? Fuck. Town, town, town. 76 to 81. Okay. in front of him. I <laughs> guess it doesn't matter against Cloudbacker. Shouldn't have done it. Wow, that reached my extended arm because I did ground it down. That's insane. I didn't know about that interaction. trying to get to the platform. All right, let's see what our list is looking like. All right, we have we have three people on the list. I think we can start doing some sets. Let's do it. Have I ever fought Spargo? No, I haven't. I swear, every Samus I fight nowadays, 
they go small battlefield instead of battlefield lately. I wonder why that is. Um, I'm going to be right back, but um, we're going to get started with the sub list. I'm just going to make myself some more tea because I, I'm getting a little triggered tonight. Probably because I'm starting earlier and again, I'm going to take a peek on seeing what's happening with the dog to see if like uh, he's going to bed or he's still going to be an issue. So I'm just going to take a quick break. I'll be right back. And then we'll get started with some sub matches. Step into the ring. My bad. Two minutes, guys. I'll be right back. I'm just heating up some tea. In the meantime, I can uh, answer your questions. <sighs> uh, DK Crush, did you join the list today? Yeah, you did, right? So you should be able to hop in. Hop in there. Hop in there. Have I played Send only once ever offline, and this is going to sound like a John, but I did it with a broken controller. I didn't know at the time that my controller is broken. He bodied me though. It, was like, it felt like I, I felt like I didn't know the matchup at all <laughs> when I first fought him at Congo Saga. He was bad. Since then, I'd like to think I got better at the Ness matchup, but uh, Send is, is a different beast for sure. Ness is a nightmare matchup for DK. It is it is hard, dude. It's not easy at all. Okay. Alright. DK Crush. Let's do this.
<laughs> Steep my tea for a little bit longer. We both jumped at the same time. It went, it, it echoed, it went whoop, whoop. Unfortunate. It looked like you tried to wave bounce there, and I, I noticed because it didn't come out. But I just tried to do it there too, see? <laughs> That's what happens if it doesn't come out, it sucks. Unfortunate. Indeed. Nice mix up. What? Should have hit you. Okay. Oh my goodness. The 2023 collision sets? Any sets with Sky J toward the end of that tournament were like bonkers. The, cl the crowd hype was absolutely nutty, too. Oh, also, when we're doing sub matches, if you guys want tips, please ask me before the set, or during, or whenever you remember to. Ideally before the set, and then I'll I'll give you tips. Otherwise, I'll just kind of be tryharding, making comments here and there. How do you get in on it? Um, easy. Nice read, what the fuck? That was good. Yeah, I'm catching that jump, it looks like. Oh yeah, no worries, no worries. Yeah, that's just if you... If you want to come through, support the stream. You can hop in my Twitch channel, you can use a Prime sub, doesn't matter how you subscribe. Um, and then you can join the list 
It's all the, everything you need to know is in my Twitch chat, though. or good option from lunch. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> the impulse to to wave bounce down B from ledge, it's a strong one. Once you know how to do it, it's a very strong impulse to want to go for that. You were trying to zero to death me. Yeah, if you hit that, you could definitely, I was at a, a prime percent for that. Sephiroth is the only character in Fighter Pass 2 that isn't an objective detriment to the health of the game. Uh, yeah, I could agree. I could agree with that. Yes. It's okay to, to press the, the way bounce down bees until you get the execution mastered, and then you have to selectively press it. And that's the hardest part. How to not use it all the time. Oof. Okay. Where am I going? I'm getting too antsy. Too antsy. Nice up here. Nice. Oh, see, I tried to wave bounce down me there, and I shouldn't have. I should have jump escaped. It can be a crutch at times. so close, but I didn't read the right option. Getting these weird buffered short hop air dodges, they're working, but <laughs> it's definitely not what I'm trying to do. that tech roll in, but it actually worked for me there. I think you had the right read, too. <laughs> While eating breakfast after you wake up, is that the time, the timing it is for you right now? Yo, GG. I think you were playing a much more reserved passive neutral that set, and it was a lot more ambiguous, which was good. It was harder to deal with, for sure. Alright, Hom's ultimate. 
I believe this is the DDD that we fought yesterday, so... I remember this one. This will be a tough one. This was one of the one of the really close sets from from last night. Oh, somebody asked what tea I'm drinking. It's a uh, it's chamomile tea. Ah, oh, thank you. Hey, I appreciate that. Whoa, this is not DDD. I was not prepared for this. What's going on here? <laughs> oh, Astro, if you want to play, you just have to hop over into my Twitch chat um, and subscribe. I'm doing subscriber battles on Twitch. That's how you. That's how you'll get a chance to join. Uh, it's not an open arena, if that's where you're wondering. He's got fucking egg combos. Why is it blowing up? And like before I can get my shield out, that's what's pissing me off. That's what I'm trying to do. Let me not get too close, otherwise that happens. It's like weird. <laughs> I don't know how to deal with that just yet. to gimmick me because it worked. wasn't DDD. Something tells me I'm going to be fighting the DDD soon. DK dash attack broken? Um, I don't think so. It's committal. You know? If you press it, you better make sure that it connects. Kind of. It's like pretty important. Um, I have a physical device, yeah, I called it. I have a physical device that I plug my controller into. Unfortunately, they're not being made anymore. If if that changes, I'll let you guys know. And then I use a program on my computer that... It's, it, my controller is plugged into a device, that device is plugged into my computer, and then my computer reads the inputs. I think it's mine. Oh, but it doesn't matter. Nice. Wow. 
wow. I didn't know I was going to do that. I didn't know that DDD could kill with a throw. tried some fancy shit on me. I mean, I get that it lost to a multi-hit, but I thought I was outranging him. close to him and he's invincible and I give him free damage. Wow, it really did the wrong button. I pressed there. I'm so mad. I dropped that game because my C-Stick... It's, it's on me. It's on me. I pressed the wrong C-Stick direction. This is the ultimate test of my patience. This matchup. And ability to not get tilted. Let's try to calm it down. The thing is that tonight, in, in it, tonight especially, I'm not calm to start off. So, it's not looking good. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, we brought that one back. After be da being down like a full stock. Matchup's tough, man. Low key, I think DDD can feel like the heaviest character because of the way physics works in Smash. Like, if you're super heavy and you're floaty, any has high gravity. No, no, it's just you're, you know, you're fine. It's not you, Homs. It's always, when I fight DDD, I always get tilted. It's, it doesn't, it's not you, trust me. You're, you're playing the matchup correctly. I just get hit by stuff. <laughs> it's tough. Really? don't understand the character man he just his hitboxes his interactions don't make fucking sense i'm looking i think he has the biggest f smash range in the game because i'm looking at it and it's not hitting me it has like a shock wave that's hitting me At least hers is like, it's correct, like what it looks like, you know? With him, like you can't tell how far it goes. And she has, she has the laser that comes out, that's true. I guess I mean like, a physical, uh... wait, was that? Isn't it 2 on me? Didn't she go Banjo, DDD, DDD? It's 2 1, right? 2 1, right? Or am I wrong? Really? I got that wrong like 17 times last night too. When when somebody goes one character and then they switch to another character, I always lose track of the set count. I only remember taking one game off your DDD. 
I don't remember taking two. <laughs> but uh, GG's. GG's. Uh, again, it's not it's not you. You're not the reason that I'm tilted tonight, Hams. It's it's me start, starting my stream a little bit earlier, and then like it's loud in my house, and it gets to me mentally, and I don't know how to stop it. I just gotta get over it somehow. Okay. Yo, but GG. All right, we'll move on to the next opponent. Is yes Python. If anyone else is trying to play, feel free to hop in my Twitch chat. Again, we are doing Twitch sub battles right now. It always is until 11 or 12 p.m. And it's just because, you know, there's just no controlling that dog over there. I wish I had a soundproof room or like I could I could expel noises or prevent them somehow, but unfortunately. <laughs> Alright, yes B. Ooh. First time I'm fighting a Ness in a while. Alright, let's do it. I don't know if I said 11 or 12 p.m. I meant 11 p.m. or 12 a.m. Obviously. Thank you, thank you. It it took many many times of getting hit by D to D dash attack. <laughs> I promise. I promise it didn't come from nowhere. I've lost to many D to D dash attacks. Wow, he like right my jump too. It's crazy. Nest is fast. Some tricks I see. when you're in disadvantage. I would have hit you there, I promise. Right. Yeah, try trying not to get tilted, but the littlest things are setting me off right now. I gotta settle down. Cool. 
Alright, GG. Oh, that worked out. Let's go. Do I go to locals? Not anymore. I haven't gone to locals in a long time. Uh, the last local I went to was probably the one right after uh, SmashCon last year. Probably been about a year. Do I ever coach in person? Uh, absolutely, if possible. Um, I've done that several times, but it's usually a pretty rare opportunity. Like, uh, an, actually an ideal scenario would be at a local. I've done that before. At the end of a local, I did like a lesson at the end of it. Pretty cool, pretty chill to be able to do that. Where am I located? Uh, Long Island, New York. I'm dead. Wait, I'm okay. Now I'm dead. That yo-yo has no business being that strong. Keep dashing into it. Almost got me. It's actually really hard to know how much hit stun that has, and I wasn't sure what I had time to do to punish that. Actually. Good game, good game. How was the eclipse here? Um, I'll be honest, I was up so late last night that I didn't really, I didn't really participate. I did watch the live streams though, um, as they were going down. I enjoyed that. I'm pretty sure it was happening here, but I didn't, I didn't have the glasses, so I didn't try to interact with the with the eclipse. I'm pretty sure that was. May be correct. It was really cool to see all the coverage of it, and I definitely still need to take a take a look at all the pictures and everything, all the NASA pictures. Ah, Ness just has infinite coverage. Sometimes it feels like. 
Oh, that worked. Just a little tiny bit high. Definitely getting some some visual stutter here, which is weird. Because we're on five frames. games that game unfortunately got a little laggy but these things happen all right good games do i read berserk um i haven't no but i heard good i've heard good things am i a flat earther no i started my stream uh about an hour and 20 minutes ago yo ggs ggs yes be am i jacked not yet but we're trying i don't actually know if that's my goal but i do go to the gym this should not be open Yeah, Nair seems pretty good. I don't know, like what that was. When Ness is in disadvantage or like off stage, it was it was kind of covering him pretty well. What happened to your upbeat that got canceled in the platform? Oh, that's a trick that DK can do on Town and City, where it's like surprising because it looks like he doesn't have he actually has half as much cooldown on that. It doesn't have the normal amount of end lag. It has less end lag on it. Which I actually just forgot about. When are we getting a Will workout stream? I mean, maybe someday. I don't know if that's something that you guys actually want to see. Then maybe. I'm gonna try to showcase the Nair. How Nair is good in this matchup. We were kind of talking about that. It's kind of the move you should like focus on using against Wolf in neutral, I think. Fucking good. That's the type.
Oh yeah, I'm getting you with too many of those. Oh no! Sammy boy. Such a strong start, that game for you too. DK is just a big ball of momentum. <sighs> Can I give you tips? Sure. Starting now. Uh, well, the number one thing I see is that you're holding shield too long when I'm floating around in the air near you. And if you see me floating around in the air, everything that I have is committal. You should just anti-air me. Like, you have up air, you know? You don't have to wait. DK's down air is slow, his down B slow, like, his nair doesn't cover underneath. Just anti-air me. Like there. You did up smash. You should you should just jump and hit me with something though. Because up smash I guess involves you waiting until I hit the ground. And there's nothing wrong with up smash. It would have killed me, but I guess you actually if you just did it way sooner, it probably would have been good. Just get underneath me and do it way sooner. You're swinging more, so now I have to, like, respect that. jump anything here that chance will that's true. Oops. Alright. Almost choked that. You would think that, but there are people out there. There is every kind of person out there in the world. There's too many people. So, and people are tribal, and they like to belong to little cliques and groups. They might be a part of the group even if they don't believe it just because they want to be part of a group. If that makes sense. Did Dedede win the session? Oh uh, no, but I ended up winning that one 3-1. I, I wasn't even aware that I won three games, but they went Banjo game one, so... Could be why.
there you should just commit to your recovery sooner. Like if you see me chasing like that, just do a jump side B like right away to like contest me and get get land high somewhere or like shoot through me or something. In general, I think just mixing up with recovering from a different angle, from a different distance, because now you see I'm calling you out for going deep and low. Yeah. At that time, I was catching you because you were really far off stage, and I was hoping that you would jump. It was just not an ideal scenario for you. GG's. So, biggest tip there is to mix up your recovery. Mix up whether you're going for the side B or the up B. Um, on that stage, I don't know how much the wall jump even helps you. I think you can, I think you could sort of do something. It's pretty limited though. Oh, J-Bok is, J-Bok is here. Let's do this, Jay. You got a hater? <laughs> Listen, I've played against DDD enough to get tilted at the first one that all they did was press side B in neutral, and then I understood when every single DDD ever was doing it, and then a different one didn't do that. I was like, man, this matchup's way easier when they don't press Gordo so much. <laughs> it's like literally what DK struggles with in neutral, like that and inhale. It's supposed to be what you do against DK, you know? So I've. I've learned to just accept that fact instead of getting like upset with it. And maybe that's just how the character is designed too. Like he, he is meant to stifle your neutral by putting a Gordo out there, you know? I still get upset fighting DDD, but I, I respect uh, your DDD. If that makes sense. Nice, caught the jump. I actually don't know how to time that down there yet. I don't think I've ever done it. Nice. Call me sleeping. I think I had to mash an air dodge there. Another matchup where you have to use Nair heavily, and I think you should stray from back air because she's so shrimpy when she dashes. She's pancaking, she's like hugging the floor when she dashes, so it's kind of hard to back air. Instead, you have to worry about actually using hitboxes that reach the ground, I think.
I don't know what that was. Buffered fastball folder? That's what it was. It was pretty bad though. <laughs> the most unique style of Sheik, I have to say, Jay. I have to respect the grenades every time. I also think that maybe there's a way that I could be punishing it, but I just have no idea how to do it, so I just respect it instead. What is the best way to fight someone against someone who's using projectiles as DK? Uh, walk and shield. Um, use super armor. Like, look for the habits and patterns that they have, because all players do. They all have them, you know. Like, uh, Toon Link or Young Link, they like to run off the platform and like be reverse. You have to call that out and use super armor. Does is that easy to do? No. But you can do it. You have grounded up B to do it. pretty strong. Luckily, DK has range. <laughs> How do you develop the analytical mind to pick, a pro pick problems apart without it taking 20 years? Um, VOD review. Honestly. Um, it's, it's easier to think about things, like, the day after. Like, in the moment, you're not gonna remember, like, what's happening or what to do all the time. Also, the fact that I teach lessons, I don't necessarily always VOD review myself, but I have a lot of practice with the VOD review. I should VOD review my, myself more often, but I VOD review other people's matches so I can break down the interactions of like what's happening, like why things are working. Um, and just in general, like I can do like analytical commentary of the match if you want while we're playing, just to give you an idea. You just have to like know what's happening like oh this is happening because i'm doing this or i'm pun i'm recognizing this so i'm gonna punish this next time like you know nice 
Oh, he dodged it with his shitty roll. Oh no! I can't believe you're up eating gravel edge there. I guess that was that's not a, really a good option. There you go. Now you're playing Game & Watch, Jay. <laughs> you're just trying. I feel like you're sandbagging. Because you're not using Nair or Up Air, and it's weird. Hey, Chunky coming through with the raid. Good looks. Welcome, party of 28. Thank you, sir. Oh, God. Here we go. Word? Down there? Oh, my God. I almost got killed from that. Don't ever do what I just did. No, stop. Ah! Oh god, here we go. No way! The, the startup of my up tilt, I'm sad. Oh, I thought I could grab that for sure. Oh, I'm in big trouble here. Yes. Let's go. Whew. Yo, IQHQ Fire. Thank you, John, for gifting Chunky the sub. Yeah, Chunky's been going hard with the raids lately. Good looks, yo. Much appreciated for that. All right, we're going to live this, and we're going to get some damage. Ready? Nope. <laughs> I guess not. It's the first low percent nair I've been hit by. Now you're do now you're playing the matchup. Oh god. Nice tag. I don't know what's happening right now. Yo! We have gifted subs going on, left and right. Thank you guys. Maybe? Oh, I'm in trouble. Oh, no sour spot. I mean, no sweet spot. I knew you were going to do a get-up, too. That's it. Alright, Jay. Alright, Jay. Good stuff. Good stuff. Felix Flowetry gifted a sub, as well as IQHQ Fire. Um, welcome, Blinkstain, and Chrono, Chrono to the DK crew. We have officially hit our goal. Even if my sub counter has not caught up. Oh wait, we haven't we haven't hit the goal. We're at 98. We're close. We're close. It says 99 in chat. It's showing sub points in chat, and uh, my sub goal is actually showing how many subs I have. So it, it's going to be a little off, 
Maybe I'll have to fix that at some point, but we're close, we're close. I think it's DK's worst. Personally, I think it's Sonic. Maybe even worse than Steve. Because Sonic is just way too fast. It's doable, but it's it's hard. Uh, there's another really hard one, but I think it's really like experience-based, and that's Greninja. I don't understand Greninja. I think Duck Hunt is also really hard. They're all like up there. I can't really decide which one is the hardest. Personally, for me, it's probably Sonic. Oh. Also, I just heard that Reynaldo subscribed, which means we officially hit the goal. Yo, Reynaldo, if you're trying to play, hop in here. Hop in that list. Smash doesn't kill if it's not a sweet spot. I guess it just doesn't kill anyway. That will definitely kill. Alright. GG's, GG's, Jay. Good stuff. Alright, looks like we officially hit the goal. My uh, program's a little slow to update. I don't know what's going on with that. Let's see if I can fix it. Refresh. Hey, there it is. Okay, my goal is showing the correct number of sub points. It's just, uh, it was lagging. I had to refresh it. Yo, guys, thank you so much. What that means is we have to set a new goal now. So, that 100 was really important. It was hanging around for a while. It was lingering, and I was not hitting it. And we crushed it as of yesterday and today. Absolutely crushed it, so thank you guys. Alright, Mitch is on the list, get in there. Um, Reynaldo, if you're trying to play, make sure you hop in the list. Thank you guys, thank you. It, it's only going up from here. I think we have a lot of momentum lately, so we're gonna keep it pushing, keep it going. For sure. And, um, and yeah. Let's see, let me, uh, let me update my goal really quick. I wish there was a way to update it to something like, because like I said, I what I really need is I need a hundred standard tier one subs. I have a lot of gifted and prime subs right now, but there's no way of re me really knowing like, there is actually a way. So maybe I should uh, put that, put that up. I think I have to go to, actually, I don't remember how to do it right now. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. We don't need downtime right now. But uh, what I will do is I'll set up the... Um, I'll fix the sub goal here on Twitch. Next time? Oh, no way. No worries. I feel that. You got work early in the morning. Do you need to be subscribed to join? Yes. So we're, do we're doing Twitch sub battles. So basically, there are tons of people that want to play me. So this way, it kind of just streamlines it. And you guys can all hop in in a nice neat fashion because I have a bot in the Twitch chat to help with that. 
Oh, no, no worries, Octane. I like I said, I'm so close to being monetized on YouTube, so you guys will be able to subscribe to, uh, you know, whatever it's called, the paid subscription on YouTube. I'm sure I will find out. Become a member, I think it is. Tips, you got it. Uh, again, I'm just losing track of what I was trying to do here. Here, okay, this is what I want. All right, so how do we do this? Is it this one? No. Is it this one? This one. Okay, this is what we update. Uh, let's just make it a nice, a nice even number for the next one. Something, something attainable. All right, monk, Mitch. Let's do it. I appreciate that, Daedric, but I would have to prove it with results first. I am not nearly as good in tournaments as I am from the comfort of my home. I am a very emotional player. So, when I'm firing on all cylinders and I'm happy and I'm calm and I'm feeling good, maybe. But if I'm if I get tilted, it's it's all over for me. So, I got to I got to work on that. If I were able to be better at that, then I think maybe I just, I get too heated, man. I'm looking for those side Bs. That's why I'm playing so passive here. Nice. I actually did not know how much stun that had and I couldn't move. I didn't know what to do. That's gonna hurt. Oh, this input. Got it. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a, it's a human thing, right? I think you lost it though, because you hit me with a little weak hit. Maybe a little bit more pressure there. You had the overhanging platform. Oh, doesn't matter. Forget what I was gonna say. You had a good ledge trap. Not in a great spot there, but you can probably mix up your recovery there a little bit more with like a high up B as opposed to doing that side B there. Because that's like that's the checkmate. If you give me the side B, then I can definitely catch you. Yeah, like kinda like that. So like you can make use of that that upper platform there to just if you have your jump still I don't know if you did like early jump up B and like try to land on that platform or just the up B itself just try to hit me with it or some jank me with it or something but if you give me this if you drift out and do the side B DK is very good at covering that Do I miss the days of Ding Dong? I mean, DK still got it. He still has one. I'll show you, I'll show you. Especially on this stage, I should be able to- oh my god! Okay, we're good. I almost SD'd. On those side Bs, it looks like you're trying to make a read to my neutral getup. So what I would suggest is try to figure out my timing first of like when I like to do stuff from ledge. Generally I'm waiting. So pay attention to the timing in which I do my ledge options before throwing out side Bs like that. Oh no. Good 
because that's the second time I've seen you like preemptively go for it, like a read. But you you don't have to do that. You can like download me, like get information, and then later on, then do the side B, and also do it when it's gonna kill. Oh, my jump decided not to come out at the perfect moment. There you go. You didn't do the side B, you survived. I had the right percent to do it, but for some reason I couldn't. My execution failed me. Eighty one to ninety five. Oh, yeah, that was good. That was good. Good jump call out. Oh, I think I could have survived if I jumped. Oops. I suck, man. Missing the execution. Sorry, I can't show you. I'll try it next time. <laughs> I just keep dropping it. Those are true combos, though. I, just for some reason, I'm missing it. I'm like preempting my input just by a little bit. I actually don't remember how many games that was. Was that two? Was that three already? Might be three. Again, for anyone tuning in that's trying to play. Hop in my uh, Twitch chat and, and subscribe. It's 2-0? Okay. I think so too. So let's keep going. If you're wrong, it's fine. We'll just play one more because I don't remember the score either. <laughs> Is DK my main? Absolutely yes. Okay, 85 to 95 on this stage. It's not going to be my only focus. Again, I'm still trying to give Mitch some tips here. I would also just try to make more callouts on when I do things like dash attack. If I ever dash towards you, it's a side B. So if you have an idea of when I'm going to do it, you can just preemptively side me and beat me. right after the side B when you whiff it you're spot dodging so just mix that up you did it the first time and it was good because I went for grab but this, I, I adapted to that and did my spot dodge punish which was the down B so just if you're also mixing up when you whiff you'll have a better idea uh, a better chance of staying safe there Follow the DI and on Incineroar for whatever reason. Keep dropping it. How long have I been playing Smash? A long time. Uh, 16 years competitively. But I, you know, just like, like many people, when Melee came out, I was obsessed when it came out, and that was in 2020, uh, in 2001, sorry, 23 years ago, but I didn't start competing until 2008. This is fine. I need 12 more percent. That is supposed to be a pivot grab. Nice.
See? He still got it. He just needs platforms. Alright, GG's Mitch. Um, I was giving you the tips throughout the match, so hopefully that's helpful. Uh, from what I remember, just mix up your disadvantage options after you whiff side B. Ideally, you don't whiff side B, but if you do, don't spot dodge every time. Like, mix up what you do. Maybe you want to jump aerial sometimes to get away. Jump jump away is probably always best. Uh, I don't know if you have a great aerial that covers quickly to the side, though. You might want to pick a different defensive option sometime, like roll away or hold shield. Mix up depending on how I tried to punish you the first time. Because chances are, if I missed the punish on you the first time, I'm going to try to scout it the second time. So there's like layers to it. What would I say is the biggest weakness of DK? I think. Um, Alright, so there's nobody left on the list, by the way. So if anybody else wants to join, you can. Um... In which case, I don't think we have a limit set, so I think we could I think we could take rejoins tonight. What do you guys think? So people that have played once already, you guys can can hop back in if you if you want to play again, just so we can keep the sub battles going. Biggest weakness of DK is he is big. And it's hard for him to get off the ledge. Is what I would say. Ready? I use a GameCube controller. Alright, looks like maybe Jay is just Jay. Only Jay wants the rematch. Alright. Alright, let's do it, Jay. <sighs> Jiggly, what is this? currently doing twitch subscriber battles so if you want to join um here this command is everything you need basically just the link to my channel and then if you wanted to play you could uh feel free to sub up um i was a professional brawl and smash 4 player i'm mostly inactive in smash ultimate but i'd like to think that my skill level like hasn't dropped I just haven't attended events as much. And also there's like a billion more players, so... It's easy to say like, oh well... You know, you don't place as well anymore. Well also there's like thousands more people playing. Oh my god, I thought that was gonna grab ledge. That sucks. I don't know how that works. Because I've seen it snap ledge before. Outside of DK. Oh, hello. Uh, I play Bowser and Cloud, other than DK. Hmm. <laughs> 
god for DK's up B. I keep dying to shit that I shouldn't be. Like, I didn't think it was gonna kill. I've never been hit by it and killed by it before. I could have jumped and survived, but I just didn't think it would kill. Oh my god, I was dead there if you did sing on my miss tech or jab reset sing. Jab lock sing. Oh my god, you just went for a fucking raw rest. What did you think I was gonna do there? Dash grab? Or just grab you? You must have thought I was gonna grab you. Because I think you were in kill percent to it. Isn't it supposed to be like minus three? Um, I don't think that's true. I think Jigglypuff has optimized over time to where it actually can be pretty annoying for DK. Please play Cloud. You just finished FF7 Rebirth and you love him? Uh, sure. I'll go Cloud. Especially if he stays Puff. Hell no, he said. <laughs> that's funny. I'm pretty sure that's not a good one for her. Would I consider using up special to armor Jiggly side special for kills? Potentially. Sounds risky, but I mean, everything DK does is risky. Not like this, dude. Missed. Nice, you call me charging limit. That's good.
right, that's 2-0. <clears throat> Has there been any piranha plant representation in tournaments? Ooh. I don't know. Like, other than, like, just a few players ever. I don't know if that's the case. Brood is the last one that I actually remember. And that was, like, first or second year of Ultimate. Am I afraid of Stick Drift? Wait, what do you mean? Uh, yes? <laughs> that sounds like something to be afraid of. I should not have done that. I did ledge drop jump and that is very unsafe with Cloud. Oh, she could cancel her wake up animation with shield? I thought you were still in. I thought you were still able to get hit there. Okay, that's on me. I got I got greedy. I wanted to style by waiting. Music, it's probably Creepy Castle from uh, from DK64. Alright, unless if there's anybody else that wants to play, I will probably hop back on quick play until we have some more some more takers. Alright, GG's. GG's dude. You wanna see a Belmont player? Well, it's a potential. I could potentially run into one. 
if it's possible. It's rare, though. I don't think there's that many of them. <sighs> Games have been going well. I was getting tilted before because of having to fight DDD, but that's because when I have to fight a good DDD, it's tough. How do I deal with Belmont ledge trapping? Ooh, uh, YMCA taught me this. So when you wait, you just wait there. And then if they ever throw the axe, you time your ledge invincibility with jump to get past the axe. Other than that, it's patience on ledge is the most important thing. Yeah, for anyone who's interested, here is the command that you need that will give you all the info about our sub battles. Bought a lot of swords today. A lot of sword characters. A Marth, a Lucina, a Cloud. Okay, smart. I figured he would do that, because he was getting away with the blade beams like they were working. Oh no, he got a little too happy with that directional air dodge. Oops. Oh, my inputs, bro. I'm dropping them. Why is my attack cancel not working? Maybe I'm pressing it too fast. That's usually what happens when I start dropping execution. Should have not been there. I'm getting caught by a lot of bullshit today. I guess I'm just not playing as aware as last night. Oh, yeah, that, the stubby grab betrayed him. How long have I been streaming for? Do you mean tonight or do you mean like overall? My mains in Smash 4, actually I mained Sheik at first because DK was god awful trash. And then they, uh, then they buffed him. Also, I didn't know you could do this. How did I get to that menu? Oh, is it just start? Oh, it's just start. Oops, duh. Um, I, I, main, I main Sheik at first, and then it was actually DK at first, because the game was new and I could just use my fundamentals. And then I realized how bad he was, and then I like was like 80% Sheik, 20% DK. It was just like matchup dependent. And then they gave him the golden buff, the best buff of all time, maybe for any character ever in Smash 4, and then he became incredible. <laughs> This is all I'm really supposed to do against Ganon. Because if you do anything else, you could die. was the best, uh, Smash 4. Oh my god! 
god, it killed. What the fuck? I was not ready for that. doing some crazy shit. My slingshots are not hitting either. I'm like missing every slingshot I try to do. It's weird tonight. And then I tried the style and it didn't work. I wasn't sure if that would work on Ganon. It looks like it doesn't. Or rather, you have to fast fall into it. It's because I didn't fast fall into it, it didn't work. Damn. Right, I'm just gonna stick to the standard stuff against Ganon. Get too tricky, you end up losing. Can I explain the DK Ganon matchup? Uh, if you get too close to him, you get hit by his neutral air, so if you like do that too many dash attacks like your dash attack will lose to his nair so i'll, I'll try to play the matchup correctly this time and also you'll see what it means what i mean by it i'm supposed to do spaced grounded down bees and spaced back airs like almost exclusively because if i get grabbed or naired by ganon i go for a ride he actually has really good strings on dk if I just stick to this, though, he has a really hard time. I did not do run- what the fuck? I'm misinputting so much. Okay. Let's chill out, calm down, and stop misinputting. 84 to 100. Oh my god. This happens versus every Ganon, I swear. There we go. Just keep it simple. Double back here. Every commitment Ganon makes loses to this when I'm under a platform. See? I literally played the matchup correct that game, and that's what happens. Now, that platform really, really helped me out, though. set because i was able to just sit under the platform and do the one move that dk like wins the matchup with what is the point for the punch charge cancel just mind games uh yeah i get to get a little bit of charges here and there and it, it kind of baits people to approach because dk actually doesn't want to approach himself because it's unsafe most of the time to do that right, we should see some pdkos here there's too big of a window not to Now, since I haven't been doing dash attack, I could do it every once in a while, but I shouldn't be using it, like, a lot. Purpose? 
Okay. Oh, I'm dead. If I died a little bit more forward, that would have worked. actually just misinputted that, but it worked, and it just taught me something new. That I should just double tap B sometimes. Because it does a hurtbox shift, and it has good range in front. I never use that. It could be like a pseudo forward air for DK. Yeah, I deserve that. I should've just went to ledge. This cannon is good. They're definitely catching me with shit. That's too hard for, for Ganon to avoid on that stage. I kind of want to stick around against this guy. Like, for some reason, Ganons have been putting in work against me lately. I have to, like... I have to work on this. It actually, it teaches you discipline. Because, again, if you, if you hold forward a little bit too much, make a small little mistake, Ganon can really take advantage of it. The, yeah, the neutral B. I think it's I think it's actually good to throw it out sometimes because it's like a hurt box shift. Yeah, he made that. I deserve that. I was supposed to do wall jump tech, not normal tech. New match, new match. Oh. I gotta stop pressing the Nair unless I've confirmed the tech. That like hit me so low that I died. Now all of a sudden I could lose. This Ganon just janks you. I gotta stick around against this Ganon, cause like, they're fucking like, making it every game close, and it's usually because of some jank, so I have to figure out what this jank is and try to like, avoid it. <sighs> Ganon gets a lot off the grab. If he gets a grab on zero at DK, he gets like, dash nair, dash nair, like he gets like two nairs or something like that. Or he gets back air or something. Like he he could start a really nice string. What's my favorite way to beat Zelda and why is it charge punch armor through Phantom Charge? Oh, 100 percent In fact, that specifically won me a money match against a like a top Zelda from New York. That challenged me to a money match once I placed third at one of the New York City locals. Because I never go to locals, and I guess they usually place top three, and I got third, so they were like, we didn't play, so let's money match. And it went to game five, and we were on Kalos, and I called out a phantom charge. Uh, with the giant punch to, to clutch it out, and I was, I was definitely at death percent. I was at like 150 plus, and Zelda was probably at like 60. It was great. Whoa! Why did I go 
What? The up air like hurt box shifted so hard, all of a sudden Ganon was behind me. Did you see that? How? I was behind him. Fucking crazy. Still some things I don't understand about Ganon, I guess. Oh, good try, good try. Yeah. <laughs> no, absolutely. Ganon deserves it. He deserves it. Fuck. See, I look over at the chat and then Ganon's like, Oh, you're not paying attention? You're dead. good that's why i can tell i'm sticking around it's a fun matchup uh yeah it's fun even for being the the proclaimed you know worst character in the game ganon is still pretty scary all right they left in that case i'm gonna take a quick restroom break just because i've been holding it in so i'll be right back uh, in the meantime if anybody wants to subscribe to my twitch channel to play me in subscriber battles, you can. But I'll be right back. I know I have a BRB somewhere. There you go. You'll sub if you can get an IOU on that set. Wait, what do you mean? <sighs> uh, 
Oh, you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the DK64 music has been, it has been popular. Again, it, 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 calm, it calms me down, too. It keeps me, keeps me chill. <clears throat> Let me just go grab my tea real quick. Oh my god, I'm using a, not my tag. I'm using BRB, and I don't think it has my control set, so this is going to be really bad. <sighs> Unless if I can quickly leave. Oh no. I have neutral controls. Okay. Ch new quick play challenge. Use neutral controls against Kazuya and try to win. Tap jump on, this is terrible. Oh my god, I tried to L I tried to L jump. Fuck. Uh Ella set the shield, not jump. is so bad. I can't even dodge. I usually dodge with X. X is set to jump. This is terrible. I can't, dude. I use L double jump so often. Oh, this is over. This is what happens when you use the wrong tag. That's actually how brutal it gets. I, I, I SD'd. I got hit by laser because my air dodge button wasn't set. It's too- the muscle memory is too strong, dude. Holy shit. Uh, I wouldn't have lost to that player if I had my tag on. Being- being completely honest. <laughs> my- my controls are very different. X is grab, L is jump, C stick is set to tilt, uh, up, tap jump is off. All those are very important for my style of play. I know you probably don't believe me, but hopefully I run into another Kazuya. <laughs> I can prove it. Oh my god, that was hard. Where is the current sub list? I don't think there is anybody on the list right now. Yeah, yeah, I can play again. Oh my god, I almost SD'd again. Okay. 
right, this Bowser is smart. I didn't realize how much I relied on L jump. Like, I use it constantly. God. A little bit of delay, I'll adjust to <coughs> I'll adjust to it. Ninety-eight to one hundred. On this connection, I don't think I'll be able to hit a PD cannon, but I can try. Ugh, missing my free punishes. I can't wave bounce on this. It's too stuttery. with one of my signature moves. Someone was asking before, what should you do instead of up B into down air? Do that. Because that catches people that wait. I'm just gonna leave. I can't. If I'm complaining too much about misinputs, I, I gotta leave. Uh, Julian, if you have any questions specifically, I can try to answer them for you. Otherwise, can I help you? Yes. I am a Smash coach. I have been for eight, nine years. Pretty much as long as I've been streaming on Twitch, which I believe is nine years at this point. Uh, yeah, I think so. Something like that. Was it a fast fall nair? Um, I don't think so. I think it was just drop nair. Well, you asking questions doesn't cost anything, but yeah, my Medify is monetized, yes. I've been playing Smash for 16 years, so my hourly rate is 45. If you do a half hour session, it's 25. And those are those are my rates. But I also do first to fives, first to tens, VOD review, whatever you whatever you like. What the hell is this? What the fuck is this? Is this a custom stage? It's kind of neat. I've never seen I've never played on a custom stage before. What the Oh okay, never mind. It's not a custom stage. It's just it's a janky stage. It's it's, it's been that long since I played on a stage like this. This can happen sometimes because I have hazards off because of the way I have the stages set. So if someone else is playing on all of the stages, 50% of the time we're going to end up on literally any random stage, which is kind of funny. And on their rule set, which is just two minute timer. And now that they hit, took a stock, I didn't realize that. They're just going to run away and I lose. I actually just automatically lost because I didn't look at the stock counter and the timer. There's no way that I can win because I can't catch her. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. This is what people do on quick play. Oh my God. This is not try hard, this is just like sad. Because they, they can't actually beat me if they were just fighting me. <laughs> this is fucking stupid. I 
think the stage breaks eventually, but not if it's under two minutes. They have a two minute timer, so it's not gonna break in two minutes. Yeah, see me in an arena, Tay. See what happens. I fucking didn't even know it was set to stocks. Alright, I'm not gonna give you the satisfaction. Wait, I can't even fucking run off! Because there's no stocks! Who plays with timer? Okay, well, we're definitely leaving. We might actually block that person. <laughs> I actually straight up will block this person. It's very funny, but you're grinding GSP by literally just griming people with the fastest dash sp speed character on a hazard stage. <laughs> Here's the thing. We could have ended up on any stage, so it's actually not their fault. What they did there was optimal. But they had it set to two minute timer, so it's still that is the grimy part for me. And I, I don't want to run into that again, so I'm gonna block them. Yeah, it's just a waste of time. <laughs> GG though. Technically you won fair and square according to your janky rule set. <laughs> That will happen every once in a while. It just, we happen to get the worst, absolute worst stage for that. You disconnect. See, I would do that if the other night my internet didn't drop twice. So I like accidentally disconnected twice while I was streaming. So I'm afraid I'll get like temporarily banned or something. It, it, it's funny. They got their, you know. Their moment in the sun there, the, the limelight. I'm the one that's tryharding after all, this is a children's party game. <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh, thank you. Oh, this is a hard matchup. Watch, small battlefield. Oh, we got my stage, let's go. move just destroys your jump it doesn't matter if you double jump or not catching my air dodge too Ooh. you were not expecting that were you I was going for something really janky there, so I deserve that. Hollow Bastion jank. I'm glad I know about that now. I've never seen that before. Why is that like in this matchup? That move just beats you. I was doing back air. Mm -hmm. Hollow Bastion jank. Again, that wouldn't have happened on any other stage. Um, okay. I feel differently about that stage versus Samus now. Dang. That was good, though.
Samus is like the final boss on quick play. Let's. Oh, fuck. Alright, we're back, but it's okay. Just try to adjust. What? Get out. You're living. I gotta stop being so greedy. What is with me today? I'm extremely greedy today. Stay on the fucking stage, well. It's not worth it. Man, that was an up air. Right. Doesn't work against that, okay. Fuck it, I have to go off stage. I have to kill this bitch. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's a checkmate. Fucking hard, man. Die! Okay. 76 to 85. I'm not gonna get a grab on her. Everything is so janky against the Samus. Yeah, like, what was I supposed to do? Miss input! I did it up here! Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Oh. I'm gonna rematch them because I should not be losing. Of course. Fucking Samus, the final boss of quick play. Shit is so hard to deal with. I guess it's just been all night that I've been misinputting though, so I, I, I don't know why I'm expecting anything different. I should just stick to the C stick for my aerials. I tried to like drift forward and then like hold up and press A and it didn't work. Okay, let's step it up. No, it's fine. I did a controller reset too. I think everyone tonight just has terrible connections. 
That's what I'm gonna blame it on. Like, this one is extremely input delay. So it's just gonna make it so that I shouldn't try to do technical things, but that's just how I play. That's how I like to play. I think the reason for it is normally I stream a lot later when the bad connections have all gone to bed. All the Wi-Fi connections. And then late at night everyone has better better connections because they're probably playing on wired connections, if that makes any sense. There's a higher chance of that happening at earlier parts of the day. But it's it's almost midnight. That was an even better recovery. I went for a suicide back air kill too and it didn't work. Wow, I killed across the screen. Let's go. Yeah, I don't know. I've just... I don't know. Can I... My... It's either my tech skill or the connections have been bad. I, I can't really decide which. I'd rather blame it blame it on the internet. Um, I play other characters, if you guys are asking. I play Bowser, I play Cloud. Mm, I have a little bit of a Diddy Kong. A little bit. This fox knows how to recover. So do not ever jump in disadvantage, so I'm going to start taking advantage of that more. I had to hold shield there, or I was unsafe, I guess? Literally never. They always press a button at a disadvantage. I haven't been able to stop it yet, though. Maybe that's better for Fox to do that.
Oh, that sucks. Usually Fox can make it back from anywhere. You got gifted a sub. Yes, you did. And by the way, anyone that's trying to play me, I'm playing quick play right now, but I'm suffering due to bad connection. So if you guys are trying to play me, I am doing sub battles. So please hop on my list. Looks like Harrison and Your Dumb Fight Me have hopped on the list as of right now. I'm just going to get out of here and start playing against my, my Twitch subscribers. So let's do it. Quick play is, is not it right now. Yeah, the, the list is over on my Twitch. Because uh, unfortunately the Smash 4U bot, it only works in Twitch chat. So that and Twitch also happens to be the only channel I'm monetized on right now. So. You do. He, he's popping off of the television at the moment. He'll bark at literally everything on the TV. It's, it's bad. Okay, 4YYVG. Here you go. Any mains from Smash 4 that I dropped when I went to Smash Ultimate? Yes, Sheik. Unfortunately, she's fun, but she requires so much effort and she also just dies And I am not okay with that By the way anyone that's a subscriber that's fighting me if you want me to go to someone other than Donkey Kong, let me know again. I do I Do play cloud and Bowser also, but I don't know how interesting those are those characters are to fight. It's up to you. Pichu is a hard character to play. Oh, um, Harrison027, if you're here... Hop in. I agree. I think that. But some people really don't like fighting Donkey Kong. Like, they have... They get tilted or they... They think DK's unfair or something. But I think that about certain characters that I haven't fought against a lot. So maybe they just, maybe their character is weak against DK. And then it makes sense. You're a chuggy bug? Alright, cool. Let's do it. What is my opinion of Breath of the Wild Link? You mean like, like the costume for him? Or you mean Link from the game Breath of the Wild? You think Greninja versus DK is enjoyable? Holy shit. You mean as Greninja? Yeah. I, I bet. That shit is a nightmare for DK, I think. That is a lot of down bees. My goodness, you're flying around with those. Didn't quite go the way I planned. Looks like I'm not getting the super armor on those lately. I'll take it. Oh, as in the matchup. Yeah, I think Link wins. Nice. I didn't think you would go all the way. Everyone else goes for the stage fight every single time.
<laughs> I just waited with him. Yeah, I think I think Link wins. Uh, it might actually be a minus two. I'm not going to underestimate that one. Uh, because if Link hits you with a bomb while he's holding it, and he does like... The same way that if Rob hits you with Gyro, and he starts doing the Z-drop, Nair, Recatch, Link can do that, and he can kill you. I don't know exactly how. It's like... Z drop Nair, Z drop Nair, or it's like Z drop back air, fast fall, back air, fast fall. Like he could just do it across the stage into like a short hop down air spike. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't get to check out the eclipse at all, which I guess I should feel bad about. But I also didn't have the glasses, so I didn't really know what I was going to do in that case. Down B every time, got it. Ooh, good recovery. I whiffed. So nasty, dude. <laughs> Rugs SSB coming through with a prime sub on Twitch. Thank you, thank you. I think that was two games so far. Dude, I love Kalos. What do I think is DK's most useful move? I think it might be Nair. It might be. Especially since it got buffed in this game. Just want to grab. For that reason. It could also be grab. If you're going to talk about what's useful, DK's cargo. If he didn't have that, he wouldn't be viable. Like, it's. Or, that's not true. It's just really strong. Yeah, cargo throw. Damn. How could I forget? It's like his signature move. Nobody else has anything like that. <laughs> yeah. 
It's cargo throw. <laughs> he has a lot of really good moves. He really does. Uh, who, who do you play? You want to be really good in Smash? I can give you some tips if you can tell me who you play. Alright, GG's, GG's Harrison. Yeah, and if anybody else wants to join the list, you can hop over in my Twitch chat and subscribe. And then we can play. Ness? Press a lot of buttons. Press all of the buttons. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Learn how to double jump cancel with magnet. Uh, learn how to reverse double jump cancel with magnet. That way you can turn yourself around in the air. Uh, by, by the way, if you guys don't know, I can kind of talk about this a little bit. I worked for Medify full time as a content expert for them. And I was the one who put together the scripts for a lot of the Medify deconstructed like full courses, meaning like three, two, three, four hour courses for, for, for Ness, Pikachu. I was not the one on camera talking like the Pikachu one was Esam, the Ness one was Gact. Um, for example, like the, the Olimar and Rosa ones were both the buzz, but I was in discord calls with those players, talking them through it, writing the script out gathering all the footage and basically like making like be a big part being a big part of like those projects so there's characters in particular where i don't play them but i have like really deep knowledge uh you're dumb fight me yes yeah go ahead go ahead so actually i know a lot of stuff about ness that i shouldn't know because i was a huge part of those and i had to watch the episodes over and over and over and over again. So like characters like Ness, Wolf, Rosa, Olimar, um, like I was working on it every single day until those got released and launched. So uh, what was another one? Uh, Mithra Pyra was another one. Um, Pikachu. Um, there was uh, several other ones I'm forgetting, but so yeah, Ness, there's a lot that I could say, but if you have a specific question, I can tr probably try to answer you. Otherwise, you should definitely check out the Medify Deconstructed. And the cool thing is that whether you get lessons from me or not, you could do... There is uh, something called a supporter link. You could be a supporter of mine on Medify. Which is another way that I can monetize myself. And you guys can have access to those video guides that I was just talking about. Which are like full on, like super professional, high production, like top players on studio 4K camera, like complete with gameplay footage, with notes written on screen. It's like really professionally done. So if you want to check that out, if you have, uh, if you become a Medify member, that's how you get access to it, actually. Uh, we go back and forth, uh, me and Miss Saiyan. Pichu is so cute. Cutest character. Everything he does. Oh no! It's even cute when he dies. <laughs> He's dead. Yeah, I was fishing for that because Pichu's the lightest character. <laughs> At least he's got that going for him. Um, now there, there's not, there are not, there are not deconstructed for every single character out there. I will say, but there is a lot of content on Medify other than that. But I can, I can virtu I can personally vouch for the Medify deconstructed series 
Um, again, for the characters that I listed. Let's see if I can remember more. Rosa Alamar Wolf. Zelda is another one. Um, <laughs> Pikachu. Ness. Yeah, Wolf Deconstructed was our first ever, first ever one. And that one had both uh, CDK and Jackal. DK is the cutest character. I'm sure DK appreciates that. Join, you're screwed. What do you mean? Everyone has a fair chance of beating me. I'm down, Monkey King. Come fight me. Come join my, uh... Come join my Twitch. I'm not scared. You just have to subscribe to me first to play me. See me. Come see me. DK ain't scared, bro. Thoughts on neutral A and to bear as a kill option. It can actually work, but it's like really percent specific. I do, I do, I do have Discord. Nice, good call out. Yeah, ground letter B is actually so powerful on here. Fucking lag spike hit. I swear I tapped up B. Oh my god. I didn't mash it so I died. Gotta love online, dude. Smash online is just, it's way too good. You're dead. Yeah. We're on Smash Leo. Really, 
you have to. It's almost like a necessity. It it only hit me recently that you need to do that. I tried doing it against Sheik. It doesn't work against Sheik because she can just throw the grenades at you if you're like hang on to the ledge in the corner. Um, was that three? Oh, you went Pichu the first two games. That's right. Uh, again, that's not how this works, Monkey King. Uh, th this is how this is how it's going. You, I, I'm not just gonna add you. Come to my Twitch chat, talk your trash in there, subscribe, and then we can play. Unless if you can't play it tonight, then then that's understandable. Alright. Uh, next up, we have rugs. Rugs come through. I don't mind the tra I don't mind people trash talking. Just like you know, you gotta back it up. If you wanna play me, put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> Alright, rugs. Ooh. ZSS. Okay, okay, okay. Also, I think we've gone like plus 10 subs so far tonight on Twitch. Let's go, guys. The climb is real. We are climbing. Something I need to do more in this matchup is is roll. Like, shield's really good, but you have to roll to avoid the, um, the grab. So I'm just going to do it more like preemptively when I expect the grab. Let's see if it works. Kind of like that. Yes, my jump button works. That's a pretty good one. I like that combo. What's my favorite combo? That's hard to say. That one, if I hit it? <laughs> Pretty partial to second hit grant. There's so many that I like that are like really specific. Like B reverse down B one into sweet spot up tilt kill combo at high percents. Like there's things that other DKs I, I haven't seen them do that are like really niche but like really fun. Good up here. I went for it. <laughs> uh, down throw? I'm looking for a tech chase so I can grab her and then kill her with this. The down throw does the 7%, so it's like a replacement for down tilt trip dash grab confirm. That's also a nice one. Down tilt trip. Giant Punch, that's a pretty nice one. Um, second hit grounded down B into jump double jump up air kill confirm is is very satisfying. Um, uh, DK's got a lot of cool shit. Um, I have a clip, I think. I don't know if I posted it yet. Of something I did to a DDD. I wonder if, did I not post that short yet? Because if so, that's that's... Criminal. It's like the craziest thing I think I've ever done to anyone. It was sticky walk into cargo back throw stage bike, catch the jump on the DDD who is trying to recover into aerial hand slap spike, the aerial down B spike into fast fall down air spike. It was like the most disrespectful thing I've ever done to anyone. And I don't think I've posted the short for it yet, because I'm trying to remember. I know I definitely have the recording, but I don't think I've... 
I don't think I've posted it yet. That's uh, criminal. It has to go up. It's the coolest, best thing I've ever done to anyone. I'm glad I. I'm glad you actually just reminded me of that because. Try to recreate it. I can do it against a, a D to D. The reason it works is because it was D to D. It has to be like a character that. Uh, it could be any character, but you have to read their jump off stage. Except DDD, he like kind of has to jump. Like he doesn't really get to mix up his recovery until he starts using his jumps a couple times. It's definitely the best thing I ever hit. I can't believe I forgot about it. I'm very comfy in this matchup, it's fun. It can be hard, though. <laughs> can I repeat those? Honestly, I have a clip of it, I think, somewhere. Someone must have made the clip of it. I can just show you guys. I haven't made a short of it yet. It's gonna, It's an auto-viral clip. It's actually just, like, the best clip I've ever hit in my life. And now that I remembered that, that's gonna be the very... I wasn't sure what I was gonna post next. It's definitely gonna be that one. <laughs> it's auto, auto viral. It's so fucked up. Oh, hell yeah. Well, thank you guys for chilling. What is the percent? 66 on this stage? Okay. Damn. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing wrong. I'm not getting the, the drift that I need. Because I'm not getting the super armor on that up B. Hmm. No, rugs, not like this. She was facing the wrong way. Nice. I'm living. I tried to do it, but you see, like, it was basically that, but the percent has to be a lot lower. <laughs> she she went too far from the... Like, the stars have to align. Really just have to go for it at the right percent. And her percent was too high. But that's literally what it was. It was that, but everything connected. And, like, DDD jumped, and he got down B-spiked. And then it comboed into fast fall down air. Yo, butter buckets coming through with the tier one. Butter buckets. Get in that list. Thank you. And enjoy the emotes. I don't know if I'll be able to find it. I don't even think I... Someone made a clip of it somewhere. I could maybe find it. Only if you guys promise to watch it when I post it as a YouTube short, I can find it right now. If I go into my video producer and my clips, someone definitely clipped it because it's the craziest thing I've ever landed in my life. So it's going to be under clips of my channel, but if you don't name, here's the thing. If you ever make a clip on my Twitch channel, you have to title it because if you don't, I'm not going to see it. 
it's just gonna say that the, the title of my stream and I'm not gonna like care if that makes sense so in that case if I didn't personally make the clip it's not titled yet and I won't be able to find it because I won't remember shit when did I hit it you guys know what I'm talking about on my twitch channel Fuck. Download complete? Is that it? Oh, it might be. No, it's not. But I was I was fighting a deity. Damn. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to find it, guys. I'm just going to really quickly look, though. Uh, otherwise, Pure is up next. Hmm. No, I, I can't find it. I can't find it. It's going to take too much time. It exists, though, I promise. But make sure you you guys help me get that one viral. Make sure you're, uh, you're liking and commenting the fuck out of that one when I post it. <laughs> I promise it exists. I go through that with dash attack. Oh, this changes everything. This is a dangerous game I'm playing here. It's a clip that I haven't posted as a short yet. And I see if I try to do it against another character, it, you had to be there. You had to be there. It has to be a big target like DD. You got me, dude. That arrow, because I didn't- I went low and tried to go to ledge, it killed me. Nope, not doing that again. Can we make it three? Yes. Oh yeah, pure pure is very good. Uh, I've been fighting against pure for a long time on my stream. Have I seen the new short hop nair tech? No. Is that real? What do you mean short hop nair tech? Oh, I have to check this. Let me click this, and then I'll check it after. But 
not if I take too much percent here. Oh, never mind. His platforms are gone. Fuck. Dodge. Oh, I couldn't get the sweet spot. Nice. I tried to counter hit you. Good bait. There we go, finally. Oh, so close. Oh, yeah, it caught me off guard there. I didn't think that was going to reach. Mm -hmm. Pit is just too jumpy, man. He's so jumpy. Nice. He saved me! Oh no. Not like this, Pure. <laughs> I was super dead there. through the stage. Nice. Alright, I think it's 1-1. One, one. Uh, if you want to join my lobby, you have to hop in the queue on my Twitch chat, because we are doing Twitch subscriber battles. I apologize if that's a little misleading, because it does say sub battles, but I also found that if I put Twitch in the, t in the title when I'm streaming on YouTube Shorts, I don't think the algorithm likes that very much. So I had to not do that. If you don't have a Twitch, that's okay. You won't be able to play it tonight. Well, actually, that's not true. Because... I mean, I monetize in other ways. You can also... You could probably just, like, tip me or something if you want to play that way instead. Let's try to figure out this matchup. Lots of staying grounded and F tilt. And 
ね Yeah, it was worth it. For you. It was worth it for me, too, secretly. As soon as I saw your percent, I was like, hmm. It's actually better that I died here. That just beats everything I have. Okay, that move is actually pretty good. Yes! <laughs> That's how we beat Pit. <laughs> we just grab him a bunch. Okay, you are now on Twitch. Indeed. So now you can either subscribe with a uh, Prime sub, you could gift the sub. Well, you could subscribe with Prime, someone can gift you a sub, I guess, that's a thing. Or you can just uh, do a normal tier one sub. All three same kills. Wait, that happened the other time I beat you too. I think it's 2-1. Percent was actually too high. There. Oh god, yeah, I deserve that. I miss input and then I die. Alright, let's start this this match over. It's very good. You probably have to, I don't know, use a certain type of aerial, like a multi-hit or something? To make it so I can't grab you. Oh, that was bad. I've noticed that this is a bad situation to be in against Pit. GG's pure. Let, that's the signature. I'm not gonna say I'm the one who started doing that first, but I'm the one who started doing that first. I've been playing DK since Brawl, and my signature move is ledge drop, jump from ledge, giant punch. In fact, it's the way that I beat Mewtwo King for the first time in Smash 4. In early Smash 4, it was at a tournament called The Come Up. I placed second, and I, I threw, man. I could have won. I was out playing in grand finals but i think it was in losers finals or something versus mewtwo king he was playing the most broken character one of the most broken characters at the time it was the most broken character in the game it was unpatched diddy kong unpatched diddy kong back when hoo-ha existed like the alert that shows up on hbox's stream every single time he gets a sub the hoo-ha like that 
up throw up air it would kill at 40 percent when diddy had rage right so anyway uh mitsu king played sonic and diddy kong at that point and they were both considered top super top tier like s tier characters like top two top three and it was the first time i ever beat him and what did i beat him with he was charging he was trying to call out what i was doing actually he thought he knew what i was going to do and he was took a step back and charged his forward smash with diddy kong i think we're on like what the hell was the stage? It was Duck Hunt. We were on the Duck Hunt stage. Like the the one with the grass and like the tree platform. Because <laughs> it was fucking legal at that time. And, and I did ledge drop jump, giant punch, and it killed him across the entire state. I was at like 150 plus easy. And he was at like 50 or 60% and it killed him across the whole stage. It was great. What is this Nair thing that you guys are telling me about? N how is there a new tech? Hold on, I just need to see this really quick. Short hop, fast fall, auto cancel, reverse nair. Oh, I know about this. Yeah, no, I know about this. I was literally just talking about this in my stream literally last night. Literally, I said that Nair could be up to minus minus two, minus three on shield. I was I was literally talking about it. It it's very good against short characters. It's it's really easy to do, but I want to see the applications with it, because that I'm 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 down to see the applications. Because I will say I didn't lab them, but I I definitely do it. Nair punch is true if you get the the perfect hitbox. Hold on. If you guys are asking what am I looking at, um, I guess I'll post the link here. I could be capturing it on stream and showing you guys, but... Hmm. Uh, no, I don't think it's wrong that there's a video made about it, because I don't think it's being abused enough. But it's really... Um... It's really niche. You have to hit with the back most latest hitbox. Also, who am I fighting right now? Is this, uh... Is this Big Mac... Big Mac Bailey? Is that you? It is, right? Yes? I'm hoping so. Because I was not paying attention, I just started playing. It is? Okay, perfect. Seventy nine to ninety, that's a pretty nice window, actually. No, they're avoiding my grabs. I'm sad. I really want this grab. Oh, it doesn't kill unless you hit a certain part of his body, I think. I think if you hit his cart, he survives. <coughs> you have to hit his head to make sure he dies. So I, maybe I should tack on a couple extra percent to that. That's something I forgot about. So maybe it's like 81 to 90. Cart has priority, so if you hit both, it hits card. Okay, so you have to like micro space it. Oh, also, it's, it has to do with the way he tumbles. Ooh. 
So like when he's in tumble with cargo after cargo up throw, there's a chance that you just again you hit his cart, which means it takes priority, right? So when he's spinning, you have to hit him like when just his head is upside down. <laughs> Otherwise, he gets to survive a little bit longer against it. I remember that now from labbing it. Uh oh, they are matching. Uh, what's the ID? I don't have an open arena right now, but you can join. If you'd like. Because uh, I'm doing Twitch sub battles. You just have to hop into my Twitch channel and then subscribe. If you don't want to, it's cool. You could chill. You could just watch. We have a bunch of games running right now. I have enough. I have just one other person on deck after this. But yeah, if you guys want to hop in, feel free. To come through and sub up. It's like probably the most volatile interaction in the game. If you're off stage as Bowser Jr., DK hits you with light hit up B and you die. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> like, it's kind of stupid. But you know what? This is a hard matchup. If you get hit, you, DK goes for a ride, so he it's kind of nice, but it's kind it's really janky. Like, Bowser Jr. is a janky character. No more battlefield ceiling, so. <laughs> yeah, it's dumb. Hey, sounds good, Max. Hey, well, thanks for chilling, thanks for chilling. All you gotta do is DK. No. It does not make this a good matchup. I still think it's like minus, at least minus one for DK. It's not easy. But if you happen to get him off stage, you can cheese him. Yep, yeah, you know, you gotta get you gotta get the fuck on that stage, you gotta use that jump. But now that I know you're gonna go high, it kind of like opens you up. Now when I put you off stage, I know you have to recover high. Okay, so there's one key thing you were not doing, and that was uh, using Bowser Jr.'s side B to help you recover. Don't use your jump, don't use your up B, use side B. You could cancel it too, don't ask me how, but you could, you could side B, which gives you a little hop, and then you could jump out of it, or you could cancel it to like, as a stall. So, that's definitely what you need to be doing. I think that was three. <clears throat> well, uh, Big Mac, GG's, I'm sorry it had to, had to go that way. I promise you that's a difficult matchup for DK. <laughs> uh, I think it was three. 
Yeah, it was. Okay. Okay, butter buckets come through, followed by anyone else that wants to subscribe to my Twitch. You just have to sub to get in the area. Yes, uh, you cannot join the Smash for You bot line, the the bot line that I have in the Twitch chat until you're subbed. Once you are, it'll let you join. Yes, kind of nice. It's kind of nice and set up that way. I actually have low-key a lot of experience against Bowser Jr. because one of my crewmates played Bowser Jr. in Smash 4, so that's why. Yeah, this is one of my t-shirts. If you guys dig the merch, you should uh, you should check it out. I don't know if I have this design on there, but I could easily put it in the shop. If you guys have specific requests, also, if you're interested in the shirts, hit me up on Discord. Because I do custom, I can custom design the shirts. Like, take the DK Crew back print off. Oh, what the fuck is this? Why is that hitting me? What's going on? Whoa, what's going on here? I'm getting like random jumps. Oh, it's a little bit input delayed, that's why. DK is aggressive. Well, I tried to do the Nair thing, and you can see it's pretty niche. Like, when it, when it actually is good. Nice, good read. never seen a DK press so many buttons before. <laughs> but you hit me with like 16 up airs in the beginning, so I can't even say anything. Oh. Nice cross up. I really want the grab, but I don't, just don't know if you're going to let me have it. Yeah, I can't hit it on this. It's a little bit delayed, so it's going to be harder. Ooh. And that's why you hold down on the ground, on the aerial upbeat. Remember how I said don't go for uh, down air? It doesn't work in this matchup. If you try to do up B, ledge drop, double jump, down air against DK, you'll get hit by the other DK's up B 100% of the time because they're going to be mashing it. And it comes out frame four, and it will beat you before the air do uh, the down air comes out. <clears throat> yeah, that's a that's a good example of when not to do up B down air. And also we're on Kalos, so if you hold down on the up B, and all, that doubles on Kalos, because if you up B down air, then they can tech the wall, right? But notice how I held down on the up B, the launcher hit connected, it stage spike mount, bounced him off the stage, and then set up the back air edge guard. 
Most aggro DK I've ever seen. And he smashes like a beast to get out of combos. His disadvantage is just as fast with his mashing style. Which is good, actually. Because I'm surprised he got out of that. See? He mashed that up so fast that he actually traded with me. That was cool. I've never seen anyone survive that at low percents. He's like mashing footstools and getting out of disadvantage with the mash. <laughs> That's kind of fun. I literally just called it out and he's like proving my point. It's funny. I like the up airs though. Oh my god! <laughs> I just had to wait for the inevitable button, <laughs> the dash attack. Yo. Was that two games so far? I actually don't remember. I lose track really. I'm having a lot of fun, but I lose track really fast here. What method do I use? Um. I just rotate the stick. I showed it off yesterday, but what I do is I actually rotate the stick with my thumb and, and then I also gyrate the controller with my right hand to, to rev up the speed. What did you even do? I don't even know what you, that even was. Best disadvantage ever? In like weird micro situations? <laughs> I didn't know that you could counter that with mash up B. I, I, today I learned. Every time I've hit that on someone, they've died afterwards. I'm just gonna get down because the, the onslaught of hitboxes is, is too much. Oh my god. I'm gonna start playing like this, dude. I was gonna spike you. That should be it. I guess there needs to be more percent there. 
because the down B is just that weak of a spike. <laughs> there was a cadence of hitboxes, but it was so threatening, actually, at all times. <laughs> Yo, GG's. That was, uh... Also, Sven, thank you for the sub subscription. If I missed it before, I apologize. <laughs> GG's, dude. Oh my god. Bro was mashing the perfect disadvantage options that... Making the, making the jank that I use on people look fake. And in fact, it was. But most people, they just don't expect the wave bounce down B. So they like try to react and then their up B comes out too late. But you were mashing that shit frame one and then we would trade up B's. <laughs> I don't know. I think what it was, was a ledge slip instant double jump. So like they did, they missed the tech whether it was purposely or not, I don't know. It was like, it's like if you DI away on that, you die. But if you wait until you get hit with a second slap, bounce off the ground and then DI away, he like ledge slipped from the bounce and then instant double jumped. And I was like, what the fuck just happened? Um, who is next? It is Warhead. Warhead, you're up. Warhead, you were the Game & Watch from yesterday, correct? Warhead, let me see some neutral errors. In fact, that is one of the only buttons that you should be pressing. We didn't see enough neutral errors. Grab, grab me, down throw, jump, and then instantly press A. If you press A fast enough after jumping, you will get always a short hop neutral error. That's what you want. And then after that, you can start up airing. That's it. It's that simple. Grab, down throw, short hop, nair, jump, up air, up air, up air. Easy. And also, if you hit me with an up B, do up air afterwards. It's a, it's a true combo. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I may have some textures. It's just cosmetic, uh, Chowdy. Just cosmetic. You need a launch switch in order to be able to do this, though. You need a, an OG switch, like a 20, 2018, 2017, 2018 switch. All right, uh, come through. I don't know if you knew the arena info, but there you go. That was definitely a fun, a fun match. <laughs> oh. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. All right, Warhead, let's do this. Your switch is patched, so no mods for you. Yeah. I mean, I think at this point, you either have to have already have one or you have to, you know, get it off eBay or something, you know? What characters would I have liked to see in Smash? Isaac from Golden Sun. He's in Smash, but he's an assist trophy. It's not the same. No, don't, don't come into my arms there. <laughs> oh, I fucked it up. Oh, nice. You called me out. Yes, use that move more. <laughs> that one should kill. 
Oh, who else? There are other characters that deserve to be in Smash. Oh, he was stuck there. Did you guys see that? He was stuck there for a while. I could have grabbed him. Damn. That's a, a very unique mechanic that can happen where I don't know exactly what the properties are. Someone correct me if you know. I think if you have a move and your move does like tw at least 12 or 13% more than the other move that the other person's using and they the hitboxes interact and they clank and neither of the characters hit each other, like there's no hurtboxes involved, just the hitboxes clank, the person who had the stronger hitbox forces the other character to go into crumple. Which is like, it's almost like they're getting hit by a focus attack by like Ryu or Ken. And then like the character just kind of like, it doesn't, they don't actually go down on their knees and crumple, but they're just like, they're just like stuck. So if you, if you punch somebody's hitbox, that happens pretty often, actually. Unless if they use an extremely powerful move. Because usually the punch just hits someone, but that time it hit the invincibility frames of Game Watch. Dude, I just learned something new about this matchup. If you punch Game & Watch's up smash, and it does that clash, he's fucking stuck there. You could forward smash him. He's stuck so long. Or just grab him and kill him. Wow. That actually just gave me- Oh my god, I'm so glad we saw that interaction. If you punch any move that has iframes on it, that is like a move that is interruptible, then that can happen. Now I'm thinking of other instances where that could work. If you punch Lucas's up smash, there are some moves that are like literally not interruptible, but like I'm thinking it's gotta be ones that are interruptible. But I thought Game & Watch's up smash wasn't interruptible, so now I'm confused. Because he still got stuck there, he was in crumple lag. Yeah, DK's punch is an, a non-interruptible move, or whatever the fuck. It happens specifically on move clash. It doesn't, if it doesn't have some sort of cannot be staggered property. Yeah, yeah. That is so cool, dude. This game is so deep. Oh, the 2016 Switch issue. You mean like, uh, there might be a way, but I, I, I think you need like hardware. I, I don't know. I don't think it was it was dealt with software wise, but I think you'd need to like hardware modify your switch, which you have to like send it to someone that knows what they're doing or something. I'm not I'm definitely not gonna do anything like that. Or I rather I don't have to, because I already have my shape. <laughs> you gotta do a short hop one, and you gotta do it like, you gotta grab me first sometimes too. Oh, you died from that. Jesus. There you go. Okay. Oh my god, there it is. I think that's the first talk, the stock you took <laughs> since we've started playing. Good shit. Get grabbed though. Them. Show me that dash attack. Alright, alright, alright. There, that's what you need to do. Yes.
If you stale cargo throw, does it also stale cargo throws in other directions? That's a good question. Uh, I don't I don't think that's the case. They're they're all different moves. Yeah. Yeah, Game & Watch is, is super fucking light, dude. <clears throat> I think that was three. Warhead, let me know. You like how the games have managed to stay so competitive despite Nintendo going out of their way to kill it. That's just... That's the Smash community for you, bro. Like... Always grassroots, always fighting the power, like, always being oppressed by by Nintendo, but it's okay. We we hung in there, and we're tryhards, and we, we make the game into something that it may or may not have been intended to, to be. <laughs> but the game is, is just so fun, so. Even without items. Okay, so next up we have Sven. Sven, come through. Let me guess. Donkey Kong. Yes? Oh. Oh, so it is a physical thing that you have to do, but it's just, that's that gets a little scary for me, so I usually tend to avoid that kind of stuff. Again, I don't have to do it, but... Guess if you wanted to, you could. Alright, Sven. It is not Donkey Kong. Color me surprised. Seventy two to seventy nine, okay. I've been playing Smash Ultimate since launch, minus the first month. So... Six years? Ish? Harry again. <laughs> we finally got it. I finally got it. I've been trying to show that shit to you guys for the past couple of days. Let's go. And that's what DK can do. He can uh, he can cheat. He has a cheating glitch. 
Only on town and city. <laughs> DK is the perfect content character, actually, I'm convinced. He really is, dude. He's got it all. Alright, he's fucking pissed after that. <laughs> Look at him. He's getting me, dude. Oh god, that's not what I meant, but uh, it actually kept me safe. Wow, he didn't give a fuck about my, ar my super armor. We gotta keep our distance from Roy. Roy will pop off on you if you don't. Oh, so close. He's ready. I got to not be in the ledge because I will die to side beat. That was sick. Yeah, DK is just, he's just smooth, man. He's smooth. Uh, I don't remember if that was two or three matches, so remind me. Was that two or three? It's a best of five. It's best of five. I think it was, I think that was only two so far. Okay, yeah, yeah. Maybe PDKOs? Maybe PDKOs? That would have been nasty. Does that work on Roy? Oh, it doesn't, but he must have just barely mashed out. That's why I go for the up smash. It can, it can work, even if it's not supposed to. God, I love f tilt in this matchup. It's so good. Okay, 67, that's what it is. Oh, that's supposed to be upper. Nice. Ah! It <laughs> reminds me of when you would bet coins in Smash 4, is that what you're talking about? Yo, rip to Smash 4, by the way. It died today. The online. The servers went offline. Permanently. 
Sad face. I mean, I stopped playing the game entirely. I haven't played it since Smash Ultimate came out, because I just think Smash Ultimate's way more fun. But Smash 4 DK was a different kind of beast. <clears throat> Tips for moving in neutral slash disadvantage. You feel 10 times slower than good DKs. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, I have plenty of tips. Always fast fall. Um, always fast fall auto cancel. Um, uh, sometimes when you're disadvantaged, it's very committal, but sometimes you've seen me, like when I'm off stage, I'll do back air fast fall. It's very committal because you're locked into that action. If it's called out, you can get spiked or you can get like Palutena back aired or like Palutena explosive flamed or whatever. But if you're fighting a character where like you're not gonna get threatened by a projectile or an invincible back air it's actually good to get out of the way real quick and recover low with jump up b if your opponent's like really far on the other side of the stage but it's it's committal so just be careful also double jump fastfall air dodge is broken in smash you should always use it it's very good for dk it's again very committal but it gets you out of bad situations and that's this like if i don't fastfall i'll just float like that but if i fast fall first and then do new not directional air dodge neutral air dodge neutral air dodge is broken especially with dk because his lasts longer than other characters actually but it comes out starting frame four sadly so it's slower but it lasts longer and those are just a couple of disadvantage tips there's more advanced ones but i think those are maybe applicable right away This Yoshi's kind of fucking me up. What's going on here? Alright. 72. Can we get it? Nice touch. I really want this grab, but... Ooh, they gave it to me and I still missed it. Wait. That doesn't actually work on Yoshi. There's a secret. I'm not gonna tell my opponent. No, I should. If you mash double jump with Yoshi, it doesn't work. Uh, DK has to put in a little extra work to get it. He'll have to stale his cargo up there once, and then and then go for it, and then it's true. So I need multiple grabs on Yoshi. Like I said, I've been coaching for a really long time, so I can tell you a lot of shit about this game. I can make you a lot better at the game. Just uh, check out my Medify offerings. That's just a taste. DK has to know everything that there is in the book to be good at disadvantage, because his disadvantage sucks. Right, we should be able to get this now if the percents line up. That one was true, because I staled the cargo up there once, and I had rage, so it kills a little bit soon. I wonder if that command is gonna work. Yeah, there it is. That's shoutouts to Seth Express for making monkey.gg the secret weapon of DK mains everywhere. Can you rejoin? Uh, currently, I'm not doing rejoins, or rather, I was. So, but l let's see where the list is at. Where's the list at? Is there anybody else that wants to sub up and play me? Otherwise, I guess we could start doing rejoins, but rejoins means that the line's gonna be longer again. So, right now, there's not that many people in there. So, if other people wanna play, 
then come through. Blah. Blah. Oh, he got me. Why is Yoshi's recovery like kind of annoying? Like, it's not that threatening, it's just really hard to hit him sometimes. Wait, <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> Word. I played you in a tournament? For real? Die. I may do rejoins if it turns out that, like, a bunch of unique people don't end up playing. But judging on my last uh, sub stream from last night, I did 6 hours and we had 35 unique sets that I played. I don't know if it's going to happen that same way again. We did have a little bit of a drought earlier, so... Right, I need to see some egg lay from this Yoshi. Where's the egg lays? That's egg roll. We want egg lay. Neutral B. <laughs> That's the really good move. That and down air is good against DK. And forward air. And back air. You gotta, you gotta throw some back airs in the mix. I was really hoping you would down B there. There you go. That's where you forward air, in that spot. <laughs> I play that matchup religiously, so I know. I know a lot about Yoshi DK. You just watched Planet of the Apes, and you're inspired to see some sick DK play now. Well, you've come to the right place. Uh, I don't know my, how many games that was. Again, I was chatting away that game. Gotta add the fast fall double jump. Double double jump first, and then fast fall neutral air dodge. You can also, instead of using the double jump, because that's using both of your resources, you could, um... You could use an aerial to cancel out of tumble first. Technically. But you have to make sure if you're using an aerial that you're not going to be punished afterwards because aerials do have cooldown. So it has to be really high up and away from your opponent. And it should be the one with the with the least end lag, obviously. Where are you going? Where are you going? Come get back here. Yeah, mash double jump there and you won't die. I don't know if you've been hearing what I'm saying. If not, then I appreciate it. You're probably pausing the stream to benefit the connection. Yeah, like that, like that. Yeah, you could do that to my kill combo. Oh god. The throw where you crush them, you like that one? I do that on purpose. Because it gives you the cut the, the cut scene at the end. The it's cargo down throw. It's the one that everyone always uses, but in slow motion, it just looks so cool. Because it gives, like, every opponent, it, like, gives them their unique, like, hit stun animation in slow motion, and you just get to see their eyes bug out. Watch out. Look at that! The high recovery eggs gets me every time.
No! I'll save you! Wait, you didn't need saving. What the hell? It's just the uh, grab and then press forward to go into the cargo animation, and then it's down in A. Which you can do even if you're in midair. Let's see, are you gonna do the, the jump escape? No, you gotta mash jump, yo. You gotta mash it. games big o big o come through i don't know if you heard anything of what i was saying anthony but that kill combo don't tell your other yoshi friends but it's not true on yoshi you can mash double jump to escape you have to you can make me work a little bit harder for it meaning i either have to stale the cargo up there once before i, I get used to that percent or um You'll, you'll double jump armor, and it'll break the armor, and then I could te technically up air you again, but it's like really specific and I have to follow your DI perfectly. Oh yeah, of course, of course. I expect no less. But I just wanted to let you know. In fact, I appreciate it if you're focusing on the match. Is it only Yoshi that it's not true for? Yeah, because he has frame 1 double jump armor and escape. Uh, again, I don't want to give away all the secrets, so we'll just put it at that for now. <laughs> I know many secrets about how to fight against Donkey Kong, but we don't necessarily want to give give away all the secrets, right? Yeah, see, J, J Rhodes knows. How can you get in a queue to battle? You can hop into my Twitch chat and subscribe. Big O, you're going K room, huh? Blessing us with the cannon fight. <laughs> Eighty six to one hundred. DK is supposed to win that matchup. <laughs> K rule can be very tricky. Very tricky. If I love DK so much, why don't I just marry him? Listen, DK... DK is the shit. I owe a lot to DK. DK is my livelihood. Like, real talk.
I am not because I don't go to tournaments enough. But I could get there. If I wanted to. Or if I was sponsored. But uh streamer money is better than being sponsored, being real. Like real life money is better than you know. So anyway, that's what I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get real life money playing this game for fun, but also like for money. And like I would like to go to ma I could still go to majors, but I have to get there. We have to make it big first. To be able to afford going to, to tournaments that often again. I used to very often go to tournaments. In fact, in Smash 4, I went to almost every single major, like, month after month after month after month after month. It's a lot of traveling money. It's uh, coming out of your own pocket. It's, it's a lot. You got it. You got to be sponsored. But I've been a, I've been a top player in Smash for a long time. <laughs> Dang. We just hit all of the edge guards on K Rule. DK in melee seems dope. I like how his up B doesn't have any cooldown. So you could just like fly around and land somewhere and, and you just can do stuff right away. I appreciate that, Tyler. Thank you. Again, if I was committing my whole life to competing like I was in Brawl, when I competed for seven years in Brawl and I was like younger and I had less responsibilities, less things to worry about in life no like no bills i was going to every tournament but like back then it was only one tournament a month it wasn't that hard to do on a part-time job salary you, you know not salary but like a part-time job wage so i used to do that in brawl and i was number 35 in the world in brawl with donkey kong who is considered a, min a mid-tier character I get him? Yeah. The cargo down throw? It's grab, then forward first to initiate to the, the part where you start holding them above DK's head. And then you press down and A at the same time. Ouch. It's tricky because he doesn't have just four throws. DK has a lot of throws, but you have to unlock them by holding them over your head. I got you. Ow. Oh, he got me with it. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. It's gonna be bad. Alright. Alright. I see you. I see you. Oh! Could've spiked me. Good weight. Oh god. Hoo <laughs> hoo! I thought he was going in there. Oh god. Got me, nice. Oh no, the belly armor. Oh my god, he's going to back air, isn't he? Wait, hold on, the comeback is legendary. What's happening? Okay. We got it, we got it, we got it.
How did I change momentum right there? Oh, do I have this command in here? I think I do. Fun matches. Fun matches. All right, QCOM. Come through. Uh, here, B reverse, down B. I should have that command in there. Also, that's one of the videos that I want to make. I want to make just a short, just demonstrating how to do B reverse down B. Another short demonstrating how to do wave bounce down, or at least, at least the ways that I do it with the inputs on screen, just to kind of show you guys. But in text form, that's how you do it. <laughs> you were making a big comeback with that K rule there. Man, I caught you without a jump, Qcom. Oh, we grabbed the ledge at the same exact time. That was so cool of you. Your turn now, I see. Dude, my mix up so they're just all working. Like every one that I pressed. Every everything I did just worked. <clears throat> A pivot is the same frame as the down B, but after hitting putting and putting down B. This is specifically how I do it. That I think is I think it cuts out the middleman. You don't actually ever have to press straight down. You just do down diagonal back, down B, and then you rip the stick in the opposite direction. <laughs> Move that high energy body. That's like something we fit trainer would say. Hi, fuck this noise. Oh god. Nice. Nice. Whoa, that was a, such a good counter attack. What the fuck? That threw me for a loop. I did it at fast fall in there and you sniped it with a back air. That was crazy. Oh, I got lucky there. Nice. Is it so deadly in this matchup?
Nice. Good mix up. It avoided my down B. No, I got caught sleeping at disadvantage. Nice. Don't do it. Hold on. Okay. Nice dodge. Oh. I could have up smashed. Oh. Good game, dude. That was a close one. Ah, uh, thank you. Love potato. I appreciate uh, all the Japanese viewers. Thank you, thank you. That was actually a dope game. Was that two or three? I don't fucking remember. If you're mashing A, I think it was only two. <laughs> okay. I can't, I can't. Alright, let's go. I haven't been doing any aerial up yet of shield today. What's up with that? Let's let's change that. I tried it, but I missed the input. Maybe this is why I stopped. I've been dropping inputs tonight. It's kind of technical. That game wasn't close. GG's. Alright, unless if there's any other subscribers that haven't played yet that want to hop in, teach you. I can absolutely teach you, Angel Gomez. Just uh, keep tuning into the stream or. Check me out on Medify. I am a I'm a coach. I can I can diagnose your Donkey Kong and teach you what you need. I have not been snacking enough. I'm like on like one of those Zen highs right now. I'm like in the zone. I haven't even really been eating anything, but I, I need to make sure I'm like snacking at least a little bit. Uh, Game Master, I, I play, literally, I'll play any opponent. It doesn't matter, like, I just have fun playing this game. If you ever see me at a local or at a major event, the TOs, literally, they have to kick me off the setups because I will sit there and play friendlies longer than anybody. In fact, RJ would single-handedly 
he would single me out. He would look for my red hair, find the back of my head, and call, scream across the room or in the microphone like, Everybody off the setups! Yes, that means you will. <laughs> like, and he'll, he'll, if I get up, everyone has to get up because I'm just, I'm a, I'm a fiend. I just always want to play. That's how it was for many years. I think I've matured now. So in, in Ultimate, it's not like that so much anymore. But I don't even go to the Ultimate tournaments all that much. So maybe that's why. <clears throat> you have learned to play DK just from watching. That's, yeah, that's the beauty of it. If you enjoy a character, you can just emulate what other people do. And you, you just copy and just implement it yourself. Uh, Max, just hop in my Twitch channel and subscribe if you want to play me. Which, I don't know if anyone else has joined yet, but... Alright, looks like... It looks like we have a couple people coming through. Again, thank you guys for all the YouTube subscriptions. Guys, three days ago, I was at 11,200 subscri uh, subscribers. This is the fastest I've grown on YouTube. Since I, since I started my account. Since I started my channel. It's fucking crazy. That being said, I'm putting a lot of time into streaming. Because it, the algorithm seems to be loving it right now. So I'm kind of just going with it. But I also started streaming a little earlier tonight. Because I wanted to make sure I can function in the mornings. Like tomorrow morning. So I can put out shorts. Because the past couple days, we, you guys have seen it. I've streamed way too late. Way too long. And then I go to bed at like some absurd hour and it's like my whole day is cooked. And then it's like, all right, well, we just go to the gym and we stream again. <laughs> so I'd like to add a little bit more structure to my day so I can put out some shorts. So we'll pro I'll probably try experimenting with streaming a little earlier like I did tonight. I think I started at like 8.30. That being said, I'm only en fully enjoying myself now because my house is quiet. It was a little harder before. All right, good looks, good looks. Appreciate that, Jfar. What is the name of the song playing? I'm a fraud, I couldn't tell you. I, l I just listened to relaxing Donkey Kong 64 music <laughs> from YouTube. But on there, they actually, the times, I can tell you the timestamp, it's 19 minutes and 13 seconds. Um, so if you find that video and then go to 19 minutes, 13 seconds, then you, you, you'd be good. In fact, I can just link it for you if you want. Compilation. This is it here. One hour, 11 minutes, 55 seconds. The infamous. If you guys are trying to know what I'm listening to, this is it. They have the timestamps on the names of all the tracks on there, so. Uh, meantime, uh, what should I do here? I'll refill my little snack cup. How do you aerial spinning Kong out of shield as low as you can? You have to do this. Uh, what I recommend, there are multiple ways of doing it. I recommend changing your L to jump. So you hold shield, you hold up with tap jump off. So now your shield is angling up and you're buffering hold up, right? Now it's just L, A, B and with L set to jump, kind of like this. In that order, L then A then B. So hold R, hold up, L, A, B. It's much easier to do with a pro controller. And again, you have to change your controls in order to do that uh, successfully like that. Why A? Because of uh, attack cancel macro or short hop macro. You know how like when you press Y and A at the same time, it does a short hop and it does a short hop neutral air. So you're doing a short hop up air and then you're 
actually attack canceling that up air, the initial frames of it, into a special. You ain't getting it done on Joy-Cons. Not that way. There's other ways. You can instead, you could, uh, you could hold up and you could Y A B, but it's much harder. And also, it doesn't give you that same, uh, I guess it does. I guess you could. Why are we doing it with L? I forget. Oh, it's because if you're holding R, it just makes it really awkward. Like, if you are not holding R, I find that just doing Y A B is fine. But if you're holding R and you have to do this thing where you're like swiping the buttons with your thumb, it just gets awkward. Like, I don't know. It's it, for me it does it seems hard. Uh not yet Arma, but um it's in it's the ideas are in the works. I'm going to put out shorts for you guys and that way when the next time if I put out something like Wave Bounce the next time I put it out or when I put it out, rather, when I input these commands, it will be linked to those videos. So every time you guys ask, I'll put this command in, and it will tell you the instructions, and it'll also link you to the video demonstrating it. That's my goal. So. <clears throat> right. In the meantime, I think someone said that they were going to subscribe on my Twitch and that they were going to play, that they wanted to play. Um... I'm just gonna take this time to, I don't know, I actually feel fine, but I'm gonna refill my water, take a quick restroom break. I'll be right back. There are two ways you can do that, Cisco. You can use my Medify, or you can just straight up tip me. On my Medify, I literally have like a first to five and first to 10 option. First to five could go up to a maximum of, not, of nine games. A first to 10 could go up to, up to a maximum of 19 games. Or um, it could also could be a minimum of 10 games if somebody wins 10-0, if that makes sense. If you wanted to play me in 10 games, then, then I would recommend signing up for a first to 10 on my Medify. If you're serious. Or if it's easier, just look at look at the dollar amount of the first to ten, and then just tip that amount if that's easier for you. I forget how much it is. Oh, I, I, I sent you everything in the chat. You have links to everything. Let me actually look. How much do I charge for a first to ten? Forty bucks. Forty big ones. So if you want, you can just tip that amount, if that, that's easier, and we can just do it. I don't mind. <clears throat> Yo, wait, son of a bastard. <laughs> just, just tipped one, two, three, four, five. Yo, five, just five, just gifted five subs. Let's, let's go. Thank you, son of a bastard. Um, I actually really appreciate that interest, Zap, but I'm, I'm just chilling tonight. I'm actually kind of on the sub grind right now. We're popping off. I started at like 92 subs tonight and now we're at 114 subs. So I'm fucking grinding subs tonight. 
And the night before, we were at 52 subs, so we were, we're looking to skyrocket. So I'm just kind of doing sub battles versus people. Yeah. It, the pop-off is here. We are now popping off. It's, it's about time. But uh, again, I, I hope you guys are enjoying the stream. I'll be right back. I'm just going to um, use the restroom quick. Hey, appreciate that, dude. Oh, Aldoin's Doom! Subscribed! Yo, Aldoin's Doom, let's go! Exclamation point join, get in there. Also, you did a, a standard tier 1 sub, so you get to snipe. And son of a bastard who gifted 10 subs, all those people, if you want to play me, you can join the list. But you're going to get sniped here by uh, Aldoin's Doom here. <laughs> what are you doing? What's going on? What? Dude. Well, Son of a Bastard is popping off. I appreciate that. Thank you for the another five gifted subs. Thank you, dude. Um, shit. All those 15 people who just subbed. Uh... <laughs> Dang, thank you so much. What the heck? Appreciate that. Um, all those 15 people who just got gifted subs, technically you guys can play if you're here and you're around. Um, God damn, dude. Thank you so much. We're now at 121 subscribers. Preston just gifted the sub to Son of a Bastard. Wait, hold on. Now you are a sub. So technically you could play if you want. My goodness. Thank you, thank you guys. Holy shit. Again, I'm just I'm just glad <laughs> am I putting on a costume? No, I, I still had to use the restroom, I'm sorry. Um, what's it called? I'm just glad people enjoy watching Donkey Kong, that's all I can say. Like I said, this character is my livelihood at this point. God damn. Shit. Nine ads are playing for you? Wait, what? Refresh! If you're subbed, refresh. There's no ads for subs. A controller as clicky as mine? Trust me. It is a blessing and a curse to be this accurate and accentuated with my inputs. I press the buttons too damn hard. I end up like 
breaking my controller as quickly. It's it's not the controller is fine. It's just the way I press the buttons. I press it too hard. Snickerdoodle thirty seven coming through with the prime. Again, any any of you people, there's nobody on the list yet. So anybody that wants to join, exclamation point join. That's it. That's all you need to do. And then we'll have an organized list going. Anybody that subbed, subbed on Twitch and in my Twitch chat. Also, I'm just, I'm curious. I've been looking. Is it, is this too dark? Like, should I put a little bit more light in here? Like, should I increase the brightness on my key light, like, just a little bit? What do you guys think? I'm thinking it's a lot darker than it seems because I have so many chats on screen where it's like, it's just dark chat, dark chat, dark chat. It's just like there's no light coming from my middle monitor. It like doesn't illuminate my face at all. But then once I start playing Smash, it just starts kind of illuminating me more anyway. I could try just bumping it up just a little bit. Just to see what it looks like. Uh, oh, I have a I have a key I have a key light function on my um, a brightness function on here, don't I? Fuck it, I don't know. I'll just do it manually over here. Okay, the brightness is currently set to three percent. If we bump it to four, that's a big difference. Let's see. All right, so Snickerdoodle was the one that sniped, correct? So is this you, Snickerdoodle? It is. Oh, I'm sorry. The arena ID is wrong. I have to update it. I'm I'm lost in the sauce right now. Is that a little bit better? Is this lighting just the one not You can actually see my hair color now. So Maybe that's good. <laughs> oh my god. What is going on right now? Okay, arena ID is set. Okay, let's do this. Uh, didn't Alduin snipe first? Or shit? I, I mean, I guess, is this okay? Alduin, let me know if you were on the list. I need to check my list. I'm just, lo I'm losing it here. Okay, you're after Snickerdoodle. Okay, that's fine then. Let's go. Lighting's better? Okay, let's go. There we go. Let's get this this Ness action here. Nice, I thought you would directional air dodge like every other nest. Wow, that actually really does work, huh? Got the good timing on that. Damn. Oh my god. Fucking nest, dude. Okay, we got it, we got it. Holy shit. This nest is serious.
Yeah, I can't do shit. Oh god. The stage is seemingly not helping me very much. This is basically like FD. Alright, brought it to last talk. Yeah, I shouldn't have jumped there. Nice! Nice, nice, nice. I don't know what happened that first stock, but I just got zero to death real quick. Alright. Kalos? Uh, I think that's a John. I don't think Kalos is that bad. I think I actually don't mind Kalos or Ness. I just need to make some adjustments here. Yeah, this, uh, this Ness, uh, definitely moving. Step it up here. Three, two, one, go. Uh, what do I do? I can't do shit. That's all guaranteed. This is not a, a normal mess, guys. All right, we got him back. Let's go. Have to respect the fair from ledge. Still gets me. Oh my god, he was trying to fucking cheese me. I didn't realize. I thought he was gonna try to recover. Don't die. Yes. Okay, I popped off that game. But uh, still, this this nest is problems. A good stage versus Ness. Oh my god, who does that? I've never even seen that before.
stop running into that. Literally the reason why I'm losing. Wow, he's just canceling into it effortlessly. Unless it actually mixes up their recovery properly. Nice. Wow. That was a good angle. I know he was trying to cheese me there with Nair to take my jump. Wow. Just gotta avoid the PK fires and I'll be okay. Ness is fucking crazy, dude. That's the, that's what you have to do. Thank you. I don't know that there's too many DKs that know that that's the optimal edge guard against Ness and Lucas, but I do because I actually do have a lot of matchup experience against Ness. But it doesn't fucking matter because the character is just so tough to fight against for DK. How is my mash so good? Many years of practice. damage there. Damn, I had a, like a zero to death basically. And now it's even. I couldn't even see what he was doing. No, Will, you gotta stop getting hit by this. This is how you lo you're fucking losing. Stop getting hit by PK fire. than that. Yeah, I should have did up B instead, that was stupid. Too risky, I could die.
Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Good matches. What the fuck? Was that a three? I hope it was three. I might have only won two. I don't even remember. I won on Smashville twice. Was it two or three? <laughs> fuck. Is it two on me? I lost on Kalos. I won on Smashville twice. I don't remember the other stage, or maybe that was all we did so far. Does anybody know how many games we played? Because they were all so intense, I have no fucking idea. So I'm up 2 1. God. <sighs> My mind is blank after that. Wait, it was three? Yeah, three games, but it's best of five. Oh, let's just play another one. I don't know. Win or lose, this is the last one, because I just can't remember. Thank God. It's 2 1? Okay. So stale. No, I pressed the wrong button. Fuck. That's what I was going for. armor just down air. What the fuck are these games? Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. Did I win 3-1? Or was was I up 2-1? Can anyone confirm? Because I, I have like 50-50 from everyone in the chat. Like, 
we have like a 50-50 level of confirmation. Of three games, you're up two. Okay, so now it's 2-2, two, two, is what you're saying. Alright, so we'll, we'll finish it, we'll finish it. Jesus, fuck. Yeah, I lost on Kalos, I won on Smashville twice. I need a snack right now because I'm like fucking getting antsy and jittery, but I don't have one in the immediate vicinity, so I'm just gonna deal with it and try to not be jittery. I don't know what the fuck to do with that. Why is that hitting me from there? Why did that hit me from there? God. There's no such thing as a lead against this character, dude. I'm dead. I'm actually just dead because of that platform positioning. That's fucking crazy. I'll take it. What the fuck are these matches? It did the fucking backwards F tilt thing again that my controller keeps doing. It definitely didn't F tilt that way. That's gonna cost me the match. <sighs> There's a weird thing my controller has been doing lately, where I F tilt one way and instead it F tilts the other way. It's like the F tilt. It's like the C stick has snapback. It's so weird. And it almost cost me everything. Oh my god, those are fucking crazy games. Yo, Snickerdoodle, your Ness is insane. What the fuck? Jeez. Oh my god. Thank you, thank you. I have practice versus J Ribs and Nurse Joy. If not for them, I would never beat that character. I am jittery as fuck after that. That was that was adrenaline inducing. <laughs> oh my god. I wanted the set to be over. When I won 2 1, just barely, I was like, I don't want to play you anymore. This is too much. I'm, I got pushed to my physical limits, my mental and physical limits. Because I need to eat, bro. I'm like, I require snacks. That was the best nest I've played in a while. It looks like you know how to do uh, all the fucking down air cheese too. And that other game, I actually know what you were doing when you dropped really low. You were going for a suicide, just like nair. You were going for a suicide nair in case if I had to jump, it was gonna get like do no knockback to me, and I was just gonna die. I want you to know, I busted out. Literally, of all the years of experience I had from playing against my crewmate in Smash 4, DK vs. Ness. Now, something I said, I used to always beat J-Ribs in Smash 4 in DK vs. Ness. It was a much easier matchup. In Smash, in Smash Ultimate, Ness got super fucking buffed. And now, like, all of a sudden, my same crewmate that I used to always beat gives me problems. I think Ness got buffed a lot in Smash Ultimate. You guys have to agree with that, right? Ness was never this good in Smash 4. He has so much shit now. You try to do soft bear dare. Oh, okay. Holy shit. 
That's crazy. Something that bothered me that I remember about Ness is on Kalos. Nessa's short hop neutral air hits the high platform on Kalos. I hope that's actually not true, but I'm pretty sure it is because I think I saw it on Twitter. It makes me upset. Well, I'm, <clears throat> I'm glad everyone was tuning into that because here I am, happy-go-lucky, doing my sub-battles. And then we ran into a fucking... <laughs> a fucking hidden boss, Ness player over here. Jesus Christ. That felt like a tournament match. Whew. Got you. He has stuff, though. Like... I don't know if you could tell, I was definitely trying to DI and SCI out of stuff. You could catch other DKs every day of the week, I'm sure, with all those PK fires and just be down airing them for free. I was like fucking doing everything that I could, dude. You lab the Nair tech, it's really good even for simple jump callouts on a standstill. Got you. Well, yeah, I should just be confirming. If I'm good with Nair, I should be confirming off of it more, right? I need to like recover here. That was crazy. All right, Alduin, you should be able to join. In the meantime, I'm just gonna snack. So I almost took an L there, but that was the closest one of the night. <sighs> oh yeah, my mash. Everyone keeps asking me about my mash because I guess it's really loud. So, okay. So what I do is I don't change my hand position. I just rotate the stick really fast, as fast as I can. But to keep that, like, I can accelerate it by gyrating my controller with my right hand. So I go like... Kind of like that. You, the thing is, to do that, you need a lot of grip on the thumbstick. If it's worn away in any way, you won't be able to do it. So you need a really good quality, like, uh, GameCube controller stick. Dude, I'm so spent after that. What the fuck? Why was that so intense? Tell, tell me what I do wrong with what DI and what tech I should learn plus what I'm doing wrong. Okay, I'll just make call outs as we're playing. Uh, not only that, uh, Deo, Deo, but, or Dio, but you have to use, you should use the stick. You can use the buttons. If you can't use both stick and buttons, because they cancel each other out. Did I blow your mind? Because that, that's actually true. You have to do one or the other. Otherwise, it literally, unfortunately, it works against you because Smash Ultimate is dumb like that. Joystick mashing is optimal because so, say you get hit like caught in like a Yoshi egg or like minecart. Those are like command grabs that like you, if you mash buttons, you might press the wrong button when you pop out. You don't want to do that. So you, you just uh, mash the stick instead. Nice. Don't get grabbed. Oh, I guess I missed it. Yeah, you should do one or the other, and I highly recommend stick rotation. Which, again, I personally feel is easier to do. Nice parry. Uh, on a GameCube controller than it is on Pro, from what I've heard.
<laughs> okay. It didn't quite kill because of Battlefield. But... You'd be surprised. I guarantee you that top players don't even know that. Do you know why? Because I know top 10, top 20 players in the world that don't even have a good match. So that means they definitely don't know. In fact, they're probably pressing both. But it's just like a niche bit of information that, again, if you're a part of like Smash Ultimate Twitter is like kind of the only reason that you might know it. I don't even know where I learned it. I think it's in a YouTube video actually. Somewhere. It's just something that people don't think about, but it's really important because mashing is really important in this game. Shitty ass mechanic that it is. Oh my god! Wait, that was actually sick. What the fuck? I'm gonna kill you now. For that. <laughs> the tip is to only mash with either the control stick or buttons, not both. Because otherwise it'll cancel it out. It'll cancel out your inputs. And I recommend just using the stick because it just it's optimal. And you're like, but wait, what if I'm about to get walked off cargo stage spike by DK? Then you just stop mashing and you tech. You like you can react you can you could do both. Or what if he's gonna do a jump cargo forward throw and I'm gonna have bad DI because I'm mashing. So you stop rotating the stick and you DI. That's it. I'm glad you guys appreciate my mash because I feel like it's gone unappreciated for a long time. <laughs> oh, wait! Was it worth it? PP Popo? Was it worth it? Yeah, you could buffer. That's the thing, is like, you also should buffer your mash. So that's why you see me revving up the stick like a fucking machine gun before I even get grabbed. Because if my opponent tries to, especially in this matchup, this matchup trained me for that. If they're going to grab me, I'm already at max speed. Right? I'm already at maximum speed. So if they try to walk off and cargo down throw, I'll mash out and footstool them or something, right? But it also benefits you if you know your opponent likes the pummel when you get grabbed. It actually will make you just pop out because if they pummel, uh, it gives you a better chance of breaking out when you're pre-mashing. Yes, pre-mashing is, is the term. Oh god. Oh no, he's like, fuck that. I had a footstool. Uh oh. Oh, I got him. Do you need a GameCube controller? You no, you can you can mash with any controller. I don't know what those lag spikes are, but they're pretty intense. Wow. Hmm. It was worth it, I don't care. <laughs> that high up B keeps getting me.
Thank God we have that on Kazuya. Holy shit. Um, I'm sorry, Hut. I have three chats open. So, the YouTube chat happens to be the one that my face scrolls over to the last. And it also happens to be the least active right now, but I'll do my best to track over and... You know what I meant to do and I totally forgot? You just reminded me. I need to turn on timestamps, because sometimes I'll keep reading the same messages. But if I just put on timestamps in every chat, it, like, literally saves my life. There. I meant to do it and I forgot. I have timestamps on in Twitch chat, but not in the YouTube chats. There. Now I am all, all knowing in terms of chat. <laughs> or I'm all reading. Alright, how many games was that one? Um, yeah, that was, that was best of five, right? I beat your DK twice and then I beat your Kazuya. GG's. Whew. What else do I live on? Nothing, man. This is it. Full-time me. This is it. If you guys want to support me, if you like what you see, if you want me to keep streaming, if you want to keep fighting me, learning how to get better at Smash, literally, not. it's not going to just be this. You guys can help steamroll me into the next Smash when it comes out, and then I will be the person who you could just come to me and I can teach you all the mechanics. I will learn it all and, and teach you. And I'll play Donkey Kong as well. But um, yeah, if you're just trying to support my stream or if you're trying to play me, I know it's late on a Monday night. Come through to my Twitch, subscribe. I will be monetized on YouTube soon. It's, it's lagging. Like when I look at the stats, it says, these are your stats as of April 3rd, and we started popping off like three days ago, so I imagine that I'm going to get monetized soon, so you guys should be able to pay, like, member subscribe on YouTube as well, soon. It says, showing data as of April 3rd, I'm at 2,853 public watch hours out of 3,000, which reminds me, for everyone that's watching, if you want to just watch some of my youtube videos if you want to learn how to sticky walk that's a popular one everyone loves this one that cargo sticky walk thing that i do just watch a bunch of my youtube videos rack up the views and we'll get there i have a new recent video where i i learned how to fight ddd and it's funny because i fight ddds now and it's still just as hard i feel like i'm relearning every single time i fight the character but that's like a 20 minute video just like just watch it, let it run. If you guys all that are sitting here right now do that, boom, I'll, I'll skyrocket to 3,000 watch hours. We'll, we'll be chilling, and then I'll be monetized on both Twitch and YouTube. So I don't have to keep asking you to like, oh, come to my Twitch to subscribe. But still, you should. Because, actually, no, the pay split on YouTube and is 70-30 to start off. So, <laughs> mic muted? Wait, what? Can you guys hear me? You just jump scared me because I've been talking about some pretty important stuff for a while. I was not muted. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm a little lost in the sauce here. Uh, is this Jay? Jay, is that you that just joined? Anyway, long story short, it's not you. Okay. I don't know who this is. Sorry, Austin. Jay Hoppin. However you want to support uh, my, again, watch my YouTube videos. I guess that gives me ad revenue. It doesn't yet because I am not monetized on YouTube, but very shortly I will be. I think you need 4,000 watch hours to be monetized for ads. Long story short, last year I was working for Medify, which is the coaching website as a content expert for their video projects for Smash Ultimate. And I did that full time for a year. And during that time, I didn't upload, I didn't stream. I didn't want to burn out on Smash because I love the game too much. I didn't want to play the game all the time and also review content for the game constantly and then burn out and never want to look at it again. So instead I just enjoyed my job and what I was doing. And I grinded that for a year and I didn't, I hardly even played the Smash Online for a year. Um, unfortunately during that time I made the mistake of not uploading to YouTube ever 
in a year, so I lost my monetization. So we're trying to get back, get that back. That was not a long story short. It was a long story, period. Um, here. My night is going great. How about you, Noferno? We started tonight at 93 Twitch subs. We are not now at 122 Twitch subs. Also, the more of you are standard tier one subscribed to me on Twitch, the better, because once I hit a hundred of those and then maintain that for three months, I go up a pay bump from 50-50 to 60-40. And then the goal after that is 350 regular normal subs, and then it, you get bumped to 70-30. But I'm not, we're not there yet. We have to go one at a time. Can you play on your Wii U? Unfortunately, no. If you're talking about that, that's Smash 4, and that... The Smash 4 Online died as of today. They permanently took it offline, which is sad. Do I play any other games for personal enjoyment? Absolutely. I'm glad you asked that. Yes. Am I as knowledgeable about other games? Yes. As much as Smash, potentially, because I'm I'm a hardcore gamer. Um, right now I'm playing through Mega Man Battle Network 3 because it's one of my favorite games ever. Um, I play a lot of games. I was just playing through Pokemon Scarlet. I got really far. Oh, thank you, Broken TV Clips. You've been watching all my shorts and videos. Oh, yes, I appreciate that. Yeah, binge my shorts, guys. That too. But right now, the long form content is actually what's going to get me monetized faster. So it doesn't really matter, one or the other. Ready? Battle Network is my childhood. If you guys have not, Played Mega Man Battle Network, you pick up the Legacy Collection on Switch. It's godlike. It's literally godlike. I can't wait to play through three and then play four. I didn't realize four has the mechanics of the game oh, that were mind blowing to me. Like the strategy RPG, like overworld, the way that you interact before the battles. So fucking cool. I remember it being so much fun. This seems good, Jay. Seems very good. Let's go. Are definitely stale, I forgot about that. How much for the collection? Um, I want to say it was 30 bucks. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, my girlfriend got it for me, so I don't remember. <laughs> But it's on it's on the eShop or whatever the Nintendo store. I downloaded it digitally. Godlike game. It comes with like so many games too. Like that's the thing. It comes with all of them. Dope. It's probably the best value for any like retro game um, that's not like, you know, free already. up okay is this live oh you betcha yeah we we have live shorts now we're, we're breaking we're breaking things wide open here I play DK pretty honestly yes uh, that's why I don't play as high in tournaments I like to scrap I like to fight and I like to freestyle is that what gets you tournament wins in this game? No. What gets you tournament wins is cheese.
catching your opponent off guard. Why? Because your opponents in tournaments, they're going to play as non-interactive as possible. You're only going to get one opportunity to hit them sometimes, so if you can make that opportunity kill them, then that's what's going to help you win. They're not going to scrap. Like, they're not going to play you like it's friendlies. If, if everyone played me like it's friendlies, I would be the best player in the world. But in tournaments, they're going to run away, they're going to try to time you out, they're going to camp, it's boring as fuck. And I get impatient. <laughs> to be honest and it's optimal to play that way in every sport it's the same in like football it's like oh we got down to the two minute warning well it's just time to spam all the we got no timeouts left we're, we're just gonna you know run the clock it's literally optimal so I can't complain about it too much Yes. <laughs> That's why melee is the goat because you can't do that in melee. I, mm, you haven't been around as long as I have. You, you don't remember the Armada Hbox era, where actually melee was melee grand finals was more boring than brawl, or it it tied it, it tied it in how boring it was. It used to be Peach versus Jigglypuff, like camp central or like not even camp they just couldn't kill each other because they were both floaty and like peach lives forever and then it became exciting once armada um it was very exciting when he busted out the young link counter pick against jigs and it worked for a time and then armada started doing the smart thing on playing fox i am an og when it comes to watching melee by the way i will watch every melee top eight i find it extremely fun to watch I'm a big stream monster for melee. Oh my god, I didn't mean to wave bounce. Blah. Okay. Yes. Oh, that lag. Oh, my jump. <laughs> yeah, it's not coming out on this. Uh, DK Crush, I don't know if you're watching, but that's the type of... Uh, oh yeah, it's all good, Jay. No worries. That's the type of down B I'm talking about. That down B is incredibly powerful, and you should try to use it as a mix-up more. <clears throat> oh my god, what is going on? That is a that is quite the analogy. Yeah, Armada is the goat. What about my feedback from our rounds? Uh okay. Good good call. Um I feel bad about that. Um, let me see. Did you ask me earlier? Did you have any advice on my gameplay? Right. So I apologize. Uh, so you went Kazuya and you went DK the first two games, correct? So I think I was a little lost in the sauce. I actually apologize so much for that, that Alduins, I want you to play me again after this so that I can give you proper feedback. As long as it's not too late for you. I must have just completely got lost in the sauce in the chat and I didn't uh <sighs> and I didn't I didn't see uh what you asked me. I remember you asking me, but then I f forgot to answer you. So now it's kind of I've kind of blanked out. Falcone. Oh, hold on. Oh! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm so sorry, Jay. I didn't mean to SD. Feel free to, to drop off 
and then we'll play. You can also play it out up the stock, I don't care. Yeah, this matchup is fun. Alright, let's do it. We just played this matchup a shit ton last night, and it was super fun. Uh-oh. What was good in it? Nair. It's all about the Nair in this matchup. Maybe I should have just grabbed. That one will kill. <laughs> oh god. Shit. Oh. Well, as long as I didn't get up smashed, I'm good. Nice. Oh, that was a back air moment. I, I screwed up, guys. Oh, I must I might have hurt box shifted that by accident or on purpose. Okay. We didn't need that stock. Any advice for someone who is dog shit at plats and wants to get better? You mean like platforms? Using platforms? I just need to know what you're asking. Yo, GG's. The stream is, is fucking, it's been popping. I, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I can't stop, I can't stop playing, I can't stop streaming, if it's gonna be hype and exciting like this, it's hard for me to know when to stop, and I've already been streaming for six hours, so I'm glad we started a little earlier, my goal was to like, at some point, wake up at a decent time in the morning, but, we're riding the hype train right now, um, all right, so uh, Alduin, Alduin's Doom, you can hop back in. And this time I will pay attention. Apologies. So platforms, you're talking about how do you, like what, platforms in Smash? Well, who, what character do you use? It is 2.54 a.m., so it's not the latest, but... Also, everyone that's chilling, if you want to keep in better in, in touch of like when I go live and stuff, I post out alerts. Um, whichever platform you want to watch me on, instead of just randomly scrolling and find me, if you want to know exactly when I'm going live, if you want to catch the stream, join my Discord. Um, because I always post alerts in there. <laughs> Son of a bastard is the most animated person in my chat that I've seen in quite some time. Alright, let's do this. So in neutral, I think I saw a side B. I'm not sure if it was on purpose, but we definitely don't want to use that one. Stick to your normals. Not your specials at first. Get good with the normals first. In disadvantage, reserve yourself 
you don't have to go for down air. Stick to uh, like space neutral airs, space back airs instead. It's gonna be a lot safer for you. <laughs> also, when you're in disadvantage, when you're being comboed, you're gonna want combo DI, meaning you you're gonna want to hold away. And you're gonna want to reserve your jump. Don't use the jump, because otherwise, this will happen. And there, obviously you didn't have a jump left, you had to up the ledge. You know I have spike options, right? I have four spike options. So you want to bait, bait out the spike option first, then grab ledge. Also there, if you had snapped by recovering a little bit lower and hugging the stage, you would have snapped and gotten iframes before my down B would have hit you, potentially. Also, son of a bastard just gifted five more subs. Yeah, it's easier for me to do advice this way. Like, this is kind of how my coaching goes. Like, if you were to sign up for a Metify session with me for 30 minutes, an hour, whatever, we could be playing and I could... I'm, like, rapid fire doing it now, but, like, I wouldn't, you know, normally do this in a session versus somebody. I would, like, let us play for best of three. I'd analyze your habits. And then in between matches, we'd kind of discuss things. And then after that first best of three, um, we might do a lot more discussion like during the matches. It's kind of just the flow of how it works for me. And then at the end, we'll do another set so you can kind of try to apply some of the stuff we talked about without going too hard. Like just try to stick to one or two concepts and try to apply that to your game. That's kind of just how my Metify sessions go. But otherwise, you get like a sneak peek doing the sub battles here. Nice. Okay, you that you called me out. Good stuff. Yeah, yep, yeah, just recover lower. Yeah, dare in neutral, unsafe. Good as as a whiff punish. Like if I, I'm doing something laggy, but ah, DK can't save himself, man. I tried. No, that nest was fucking insane. One of the best nests I've played, actually. Uh, in neutral, you want to respect burst options. So what is the burst option in this matchup? It's dash attack. Uh, also, I notice when you're in disadvantage, you're almost always immediately rolling away. Instantly, which means you're holding away. And the game is like buffering a roll away, and that's why I was able to make that read there. So instead, you should wait. Depending on the situation, like, am I close enough to follow up? No, then it's okay to wait there on the ground before you, because you can roll in, you can roll out, you can get up in place by pressing up, which a lot of people don't know, or you can get up attack by pressing A, of course. DK has a broken get up attack when he's laying on his back. When he's laying on his stomach, it's not so good. But when he's laying on his back, it's like one of the best getup attacks in the game. It hits like on both sides twice. It's broken on platforms. It's it's great. Um, but yeah, that's like a knockdown situation. Again, there's a lot. I'm like spitballing a lot at you, but again, it's kind of like a preview of something I might you might see in a lesson. Oh god, I actually killed myself and saved you. <laughs> well, oh well. Uh, probably want to stick to back airs and forward tilts and grounded down Bs in neutral. That being said, what you're doing is working, so mixing it up is good too. You got a little happy off the stage there. I would wait until you're a little bit more comfy with like recovering consistently with DK from like any distance before like aggressively going out there and swinging for stuff. Oh, you got me in the crumple lag. I was stuck. 
Yeah, I was waiting for that. Dash attack, it's a great combo starter, but you gotta make sure you have a read on your opponent's movement before you press it. Because if they're just sitting and waiting for it, then you get shield wrapped. Meaning you wanna know, like, are they gonna dash in? Or I have a read, I know that they're gonna dash in, because they always do dash out, dash in. Like, that's their pattern, right? Dash attack, you can save it for if your opponent's already knocked down, are you catching their landing? Um, you can just use it because it moves DK across the ground really fast. So you could just use it to take space, not to actually try. Don't actually try to hit with dash attack. You should zone with it. So dash attack just to take space quickly. And now, boom, you're in their face. So now you're close enough to do, you know, space down tilts. That's that's how you want to use dash attacks. Why? Because if your opponent decided to dash in when you zone the dash attack, they'll get hit by that. If that makes sense so you want to put it in front of them so that if they dash they get hit you don't want to dash where you don't want to dash attack where they are because then you'll get punished and that's how it works and then if you hit the end of the dash attack then you get combos off of it of course you get grab you get down tilt um trip into dash grab oh i'm i'm uh i appreciate that noferno yeah it's it's a, it's a fun game it's a fun game you should play it. <sighs> oh my god, wait, are you serious? I remember Miiverse. Do you guys remember the Miiverse stage in Smash 4? Do you want to know something? I'm not going to spoil it for anyone else. But Game of Thrones got spoiled to me. Because we usually keep... We kept the Wii U's unplugged at my, my, at my friend's house at IQHQ where our crew would hang out and we, came, we just came back from a tournament but someone must have been playing online and they forgot to unplug the fucking ethernet cable from the Wii U and we play on Miiverse and in the drawings in the background it fucking spoils the episode that I missed that weekend of Game of Thrones of the season finale and I'm not going to spoil it for those who didn't watch it but fucking Miiverse spoiled Game of Thrones for me because one of my stupid friends kept the Wii U plugged in and Miiverse fucking spoiled it. I was so mad. It's an amazing memory to think of now, but I was so pissed, bro, in the, in the moment. Um, I don't know how many games that was all doing, but you think you can beat me this time? Okay. That being said, Miiverse was the stuff of Legends. There were a lot of memes there. Again, I'm giving you kind of a preview of what my lessons would be. So if you guys are interested, you should you should check out my Metify. This is I've been doing this for a long time, so I can definitely hook you up. Oh. I can also teach you how to do that if you want. If you play DK. Yeah, you're gonna go for a spike. You have to. This is something that I used to do in my first year or two of competing in Smash. Like, DK has four spikes. Why wouldn't I try to spike them when they're off stage? You have to learn to reserve that because I'm waiting for it. I'm expecting it. Nice. Also, like I said, you just want to make sure that you're comfy with recovering first. Otherwise, you'll get reversaled. Nice. Yeah. GG. Haven't played in a while, but your friend was a regional player, so you just remember being beat a lot and then eventually being able to get one win. Yeah, it's 
it's frustrating but it's it can be very rewarding when you overcome like a demon in a fighting game You got it, you got it, dude. Okay, I think uh, I think the list is now empty. So uh, unless if there's anybody else that wanted to play, um, I might call it there. It's just, it's so hard for me to do because we're all, we always have so many viewers left at the end here. But um, yeah, the list is empty. The list is empty. Everyone has played. Something that matters too about DK when you recover, it's when you up B too high, your move is unsafe at low percent, especially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, unless there's any other subs uh, subscribers in chat that haven't played yet that want to play me, this is your chance. Twitch subs. If you drop Skyrim type hours into Smash, you would be a beast. What do you? What are Skyrim type hours? Maybe I already have that. Check it. You'll take a rain check. All right, sounds good. Feel free to cash that in whenever you like. Do we have Skyrim type hours on Smash? What do you guys think? My other games pale in comparison. <laughs> like, I play the other games casually for fun. <laughs> like, <laughs> I have been playing a lot of Mega Man uh, Battle Network Legacy Collection, though. Put 70 hours into Scarlet. I need to finish Super Mario RPG. Circle of the Moon is dope. I was playing that because that was my first Game Boy Advance game ever. And it's also like a fucking 9.6 out of 10 like rated by IGN. It just happens to also be one of the best. And it's the first Castlevania game I ever played and it like married me to the series. Like I fucking love Castlevania after that. Yeah, we got some Metroid Prime, one of my favorite games ever. Metroid Prime Remastered is a is a masterpiece. Pun intended. Uh, let's see what else here. This game was fun. I never beat it. Metroid Dread was a classic. It takes 10,000 hours to become an expert at anything. I've heard that as well. This is just for... This is only the hours on my console. Imagine now all the hours at training sessions at my friend's house. This is only for Smash Ultimate. I've played Smash for 16 years. So... That's only, this is only the past six years. So I still have all the other hours and all the other Smash games. I, I'd like to think that that all like kind of adds up together. Let's see what else here. Anything else noteworthy that I've played? I, I suck at Mario Kart. Don't ever tell me to play Mario Kart. I will say no. Why? Because it's skill based, but the skill is so heavily derived around RNG that to me, and there's no option to like turn off the items. <laughs> like, so you kind of just got to hold that. That's how the game is, is meant to be played with items. This is my full time job. This is what I do. This is what I do. So we out here trying to grow on YouTube, trying to grow on Twitch. Uh, my other platforms as well. I post to TikTok. Um, I think I have my socials command here. I'm sure a lot of you... I don't know if I made that a command, actually. I did. Yeah, these are my socials. I didn't include my Instagram. I also post on Instagram. But like, if you're if you see my YouTube shorts, that's the one that like matters the most. Because that's the one that... Honestly, that that's the reason that the algorithm is blessing me with the YouTube short streams right now. Because of all the shorts that I've posted. But, um... Alright, y'all. I think we've hit a lull in activity, so I think it's probably going to be time for me to call it. 
Uh, let's find someone to raid. Uh, let's find some. As I hear a duplicate of myself. Let us raid. Let's see. Well, that's the other thing, Noferno, is that if you can appreciate how many years and how much time I put into this, it's just, it's a skill. If you can appreciate that I've committed so hard to this, then I just appreciate you for being here. And also, there's going to be another Smash, if and when there is, then, uh, you know, I'll be on top of it. So that's why I just want to, I want to keep up with it now. Raid. Oh, is that the is that the the chess player? Yeah, I don't I don't know who 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 we should raid. Honestly, sometimes I like to find those like random like small DK streamers and give them raids, but it's, it's usually kind of hard to find uh, find people like that. Boom. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I know who this is. Hold on. I have someone we can send a raid to. You also, you also uh, may just happen to get blessed. If I recognize you as a sub to my Twitch because I recognize this name and they're streaming right now. In fact, let me just make sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I found someone to raid. Let's do it, let's do it. So there's someone that fought me recently in sub battles. And they're playing, they're streaming right now. They haven't been live nearly as long as I've played. It, look, it looks like they, they're a Bowser main, so that's kind of on brand for me, Super Heavies. So let's do it. Let's send a raid on over to Bowsard. I'm sure they're gonna appreciate it. Again, uh, they've played recently in the sub battles and they might've gone Donkey Kong against me just for, just for shits. But I guess it looks like they're a Bowser main at heart, so. We're gonna send them a raid. I appreciate you guys for chilling. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Um, let me know, do you guys want me to keep doing subscriber battles like this? I'll keep it up. We keep getting new opponents. I'm training you guys up as well. Um, I'm just gonna send the links here so you guys know where we're going. But um, yeah, thank you guys. It's been amazing. Next goal is 150. Let's keep pushing. Let's keep grinding. And I am going to stop streaming so that I can start putting out the shorts in the, in the morning and afternoon. And then I can get the streams in at night. But appreciate you guys. Have a good night. Catch you later.
Oh my god.